Hey guys, we're back! Oh, oh. What's, we made it! What's hello. up? Hello, we're we back! Survived. Let's go! Hello, hello! Uh, welcome to episode two of Shadows Over Velda. I am your DM for the night, Alphonse McKenzie, and uh, these are my wonderful players who are going to entertain themselves and you tonight. Um, usually. We start out. Let's get. Let's get the. Let's. Oof, theater shaking. Theater shaking. Shake out the jitters. Um, we. I, I don't really think of a of a question until we start. Um, we go around and we we ask this question of our characters just to kind of get to know uh, everybody above. You know the the interactions that we have on the table. Um, so the question I have today is: What kind of artisanal dessert? uh would reflect your character the most so like a parfait or you know something fancy right 
I see. Yeah. Mm. Artisanaldesertslist.com. <laughs> we'll, we'll start. This I have an answer to. Okay, you said okay, artisanal okay. in my brain short circuited because I'd never heard that like said so <laughs> eloquently. A before. Fancy dessert. Yeah. Something something fancy that Thank you, you would get like you know. a bakery or a patisserie. Okay. Patisserie. Uh, patisserie. Me too. All right, we'll start with uh, we'll start with uh, the wall. Uh, ben, what's what kind what's of artisanal dessert? dessert? What's your what's your dessert wall? Uh, a root beer float. I love it. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. so true. Yeah, very uh, very down to earth, very grounded, very real, very meat and potatoes. Uh, we love it. Fantastic. A root beer float, creamy and just a little bit bitter. You know. Uh, <laughs> what about you? Uh, we got Grizz. Zeph, what's yours? Grizz. Um, artisanal dessert. Can I go last? <laughs> Sorry, I just sure, I went we to go I went to go retweet your tweet on the stream and I was on the oh, wrong account. Thank you. So... <laughs> Much appreciated. <I'm> <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Can I go uh, last? Can go down then? This yeah, sure. Dessert. I'm a lizard person. Hayden said they know what they're doing. Uh yeah, yeah. all right. Hayden, he switched what roles is this Argentum's? Time. What is our gentleman's artisanal dessert of choice? I feel like it would be a tiramisu. Okay. A nice little What's that? late night pick me up. Have yeah, you never that? had it? I've never had it. Oh, I know, what, I, know, I know what tiramisu is. I, I said, why okay. is that? Oh, I oh don't why know is that? that? Oh, you yeah, don't? Yeah. Okay, well, it's lady fingers soaked in um, like an alcohol. I can't remember exactly the kind off the top of my head. I've made it from scratch with... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, mascarpone cheese. It's a it's an Italian dessert and it's so good, but it's yeah. like a little kind of bittersweet because Argentum can have a little bit of an edge sometimes. Yeah. Um, but there's like a sweetness and a softness to them, so I think that that suits them well. Yeah, I love it. That's, that's fantastic. That's tiramisu. It's that's also that's caffeinated, so I feel yeah, that's like... that's coffee liqueur. I think is yeah, what it's it. a coffee, coffee liqueur. liqueur. Yeah, caffeinated. Um, Great. There's a little creamy too, and you get some mm -hmm. you get a little bit of a bite from in the, there. the fingers. That's fantastic. Great choice. Great choice. Um, okay, uh, Juzo, what is uh, Sunder's artisanal dessert of choice? Shit. You got the pick of a bakery. Uh, what do you get? A fucking cannoli, dude. Cannoli, cannoli. yeah. Cannoli. We love cannolis. I fantastic. Love cannolis, why? Why? What, is it just what? What, is it, what appeals to you uh, oh, about a cannoli? Uh, because it, cannoli uh, you know, it has a rough exterior, but it is mm -hmm. pretty sweet on the inside. Oh, so, and creamy. Know, and um, that too. He's filled so, with cream. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at uh, this big guy. question. <laughs> big question. With or without chocolate chips? With. You okay. gotta add that little Choice. bit of bitterness to it. See, that was the right choice. Dark so. chocolate chips, specifically. Ooh, Ooh. speak of language. Ooh. Dark that chocolate does seem very, chips. does seem very sunder. Okay, great choice. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Nice. Uh, Italian desserts. Le Jou. Okay. Uh, what? I thought about this for a, a hot second. I don't know. Uh, Phoenix doesn't, you know, he doesn't really enjoy that kind of super high-end stuff. Uh, he's a fan of, like, you know, like, Maybe like a black licorice tart, you know? Yeah. Okay. A black Something... licorice tart. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm judge. I'm trying I to picture don't that. like licorice, but I, if Phoenix loves nasty shit. <laughs> 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 For real. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, Phoenix, no. uh, fantastic. A black licorice tart. I'm picturing it in my head. It looks a little grim, but also sweet and delicate. Oh, so a little gross. fantastic. <laughs> um. Let's see who's who's next. Sorry, I gotta, I'm looking at the list. I gotta go back. Uh, we gotta go back to Grizz. <gasps> did you Man, figure it out? Grizz. Did you look up your list of artisanal desserts? How did you know that I was googling artisanal desserts? Because you said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also staring blankly at your screen, like forward, face forward. <laughs> <laughs> we see it in your eyes. With this God like, damn it! I don't know. Uh, Two thousand meter stare. Maybe something um, like. Uh, <laughs> God, These pictures good. of cheese fondue look nice. <laughs> cheese fondue? Yeah. Cheese fondue. Okay. Is that like melted cheese? It's not too sweet. Yeah. It's not really a dessert. It's like, I guess you could have dessert. I mean, dessert is just like when you have it, right? It's not what yeah. you have. Okay. Yeah, so that, makes yeah. Sense. that makes sense. For, that makes sense for Seth Royale. Uh, it's not what you would normally consider dessert, but it's what they do. 
I mean, they have a yeah. chocolate fondue, so I mean, you know. Fondue's oh, you could do chocolate fondue too? Shit. Yeah. You could dip like your, fondue yeah. Chocolate with cheese. And cheese. Yeah, you exactly. could dip your chocolate, you could dip it in the chocolate fondue, like a strawberry, and then dip it in the cheese. Ooh. Or, oh, oh my god, god yeah. some cheesy yeah, strawberries. Right? It's it like that ratatouille good. gift. Yeah, man. That ratatouille gift of him eating cheese and a strawberry, and he's like, oh my god, new flavors. My other <laughs> option was just I mean, and your like, palate. <laughs> my other option was something frozen, but I couldn't remember what it was called. Popsicle. Gelato? Popsicle. Yes, it's that I, one. Gelato. There you go, gelato. That's just ice cream. Uh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> well, but it's better than ice cream. cream. It, is it better, sounds yeah. fancier than just ice cream. cream. It's, it's cold, it's simple. I will say, uh, my favorite ice cream is, and speaking of Italian desserts, my favorite ice cream is Spumoni, which is, I think I've said this Your before, best. which is like chocolate, uh, pistachio, and cherry. Oh, it's mm. so good. So Based good. Technically, it's like mm. almond, but it's it's cherry. There's cherries in it. I had something uh, similar anyway. when I was in Italy. Oh, God, yeah. Going to actually, actually going to Italy and getting some Spumoni, which is probably not Italian, <laughs> not Italian <laughs> yeah, at all, and some weird pasteurization of an Italian... Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, we are no longer in Italy. We're talking about desserts. As a matter of fact, things are going to get a little dark. It's going to get a little uh, intense, which is why I started off with something so sweet. Um, wow. So uh, would anybody also... care to give us a few bullet points of what happened last time? What happened when we introduced? You guys can you list anything you would like, what you remember, what you like, what you enjoyed, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll go around to whoever cares to answer. Uh, what happened? Okay, okay, so uh, last session, we uh, got introduced to all the characters who were speedily, you know, corralled into a wagon, uh, which was, I guess, somewhat fancy. I, I, I'll be honest, I can't tell the economy here just yet. So personally, I don't know how <laughs> poor we are or how rich it is, but it seemed like to be of decent make. And uh, we had some, you know, obviously, Zeph and the Wall already knew each other, so they didn't have any uh, weird encounters but uh phoenix and argentum had a very cool you know very nice very smooth non-awkward conversation at the, the back of his wagon you know obviously it was intense at all exactly i made it to the uh made it to the city uh wa sat and watched as uh two people who shall not be named uh make speeches that otherwise you know would seem very sad and some sometimes self-incriminating and then we found a way to a nice little cave. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, that was very, uh, very succinct. Um, our, our players were gathered together. Uh, they are the, uh, the esteemed guests, some of them are, um, of yeah. uh, Baron Edo the Elder, the, the, the late uh, Lord of Ivbranca. And um, as we've kind of pushed them through the, the, uh, the eulogy, um, that Edo's nephew gave. Uh, they went to collect their... Uh, <laughs> they went to go collect what was in the will. Um, and uh, it was two storage units. Uh, they only went into one of them. Um, and the one Oh, there were led, two? There was a there second were two one? Sorry. Units. Yeah. <laughs> we're idiots. <laughs> Fuck! There, there were two... I mean, it's going to be there. It's not like it's going anywhere. Um, you might die. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to find out. Uh, and it... As things kind of coalesced, they learned a lot of information uh, about the the goings on in the city, about a few key players, um, and they they were very brave and and pushed through into a pretty dark tunnel, uh, just a dirt tunnel that led far far deep into uh, underneath of the ocean. Um, as they were right next to there at the docks, and kind of oops themselves into a spider nest of sorts um it's it's a little hard to figure out exactly what it is uh but right now there is definitely it's definitely screaming spiders um and we are actually gonna roll initiative uh because right we are going bat. straight into combat uh as you guys see at the end of this chasm where you kind of poked out of this tunnel there's a huge yeah drop a massive chasm um and as you as you guys you're able to see a little bit more of what is uh on the walls and higher up the the ceiling ascends maybe a hundred feet and the cavern descends down into i would imagine 
300 feet, but like you can't really tell uh, based on the slope of the in uh, the inside of this this chasm. You're able to kind of estimate, but yeah. like don't jump down, right? Um, you don't want to find and, out. Yeah, uh, along the walls, it looks like beneath the like veins of this city, there's an ancient undercity, and then underneath of that is even more city, a subterranean like labyrinth carved in the bones of this earth that kind of feels like it wants to be forgotten and seemingly for good reason uh mm -hmm. it's, there's streets it looks like there may have been like a cart vendor it's of some kind there are entrances and there's one a, a across the chasm that you can see immediately that's very very difficult to miss um which is like uh, a large gate um and it's pressed oh. into the wall. Yeah, you you can see it on the on the uh, the map itself. It doesn't look exactly like it is on the map, uh, but it's you know this large gate, very ornate. Uh, it's it's carved and there's reliefs on it. Uh, it has you know it's got a lentil and then two pillars uh, next to it. And uh, on the other side there are again more humanoid shapes that have been kind of webbed up against the rock and stone, uh, encased in this cord like thick, uh, sticky webbing um it's almost like like steel or, or like a rope to the touch um <clears throat> but as you guys entered into this chasm uh uh wall was grabbed by one of the spiders you would assume it's a spider and uh grappled and then uh phoenix phoenix was the one that shot it in its face um but now obviously we're gonna roll initiative uh i'm going to turn on the combat music Gonna get a little uh, tense. Yeah. Um. I think if before you roll, you might have to click on your token. I don't know if yeah. That's if you true click your this. token, or you can like tell me. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I, you have to like select yeah. your token first before you roll. Otherwise, it won't appear in the turn tracker. I believe. Boom. Cool. Yeah. There we go. 18. Not bad. Wall. Nice wall. With, with plus two decks, I got 18. Nice. Our oh, has got 10. Okay. So I just I pressed my token. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you click your token and then hit uh, initiative. initiative. Yeah. It should be a big number on the top middle. So that says initiative. Ten. Sorry. Nice. Wow. Okay. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Speed <laughs> McGee. Yeah. Damn. All right. I am going to turn. Enable okay. the spiders. Oh, this is I have nasty. enabled the spider. Oh, good lord. Oh, okay. I see him. So right now at oh. the other end, um, while you can see these cocoon <laughs> humanoid uh, creatures begin to like vibrate against the wall, like thrashing against the wall, uh, suspended in uh, in the webbing, um, they're all along the inside of the uh, rocky outcropping that you guys have to kind of sidle against. As you can tell right there, it's only about five feet of width until you start to slip into the chasm. Ooh. Be very careful where your footing goes and who you're fighting. Um, so first is the wall. Um, you don't see any immediate threat other than like, you know, the humanoid uh, cocoons beginning to like buzz and thrash against the wall. Um, but there is, a, there is, you do see the spider actually begin to creep forward. That was its Whoa. turn. It just kind of moved. Um, it's moving. You guys can see it, right? Yes. It's, it's yes. very large. Okay. Fantastic. I'm just making sure. All right. It's very large. So, Wall, what would you like to do? You see the spider in front of you. I, I thought, uh... Yeah, you have to re... Mean? Yeah, you have to re-move the turn order. Like, sort of. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. It, yeah. Okay, cool. Why do I have to, I have to sort it? That's silly. Because I'm like, wait, <laughs> okay. Sunder goes go. first. No. Sunder! Not oh. Wall. What would you like to do? You do see this spider over, uh, you know, to the side of uh, of the wall. There is not much else around other than that, but it does look very angry. And uh, you do see the um, cocoons starting to like vibrate and buzz against the uh, rock and stone mm -hmm. to your, I would imagine, left. Rock and stone. You're facing. I, I knew that was gonna happen. Um, <laughs> but yes, this. Uh, it's looking kind of pissed. It starts to like um, skitter and and as it stops its movement and looking and starting to assess what exactly is going on as um, its webs have been disturbed. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Um. Do your best. Yeah. Well, yes, obviously. Uh, <laughs> yes. Is is there a way for me to like move past 
lays you and yes instead of taking five feet it will take 10 feet of movement to get past the wall but you can do that so it'll only take it'll take 10 feet of your movement no one gets past the wall you can step around me but you can't step around the wall i think the wall's a barrier (laughs) (laughs) it's almost like a wall of some kind (laughs) wow (laughs) now you know 10 feet of movement is fine um so would i be doing like this i would assume uh, yeah, okay. you'll be you'll be moving. Okay, I think that's where I will leave it. Then I'll move a little bit. I don't want to move too close to it because I can't really do much that's uh, until it gets close. Okay, it's sounds like strategic. a plan. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, next up is Fee. Phoenix, right? What would you like no, to do, Fee? It's not yep. Phoenix. It's I'm actually not. the wall that's <laughs> the wall. Wait, wait really? Wall oh my God! Why is this is fucking itself up? <laughs> I'm so sorry. The turn order keeps fucking itself up. I'm not. I'm not moving it. I swear. Um, the wall. What would you like to do? <laughs> we're, having a, we're having a weird little shuffle here, aren't we? Yeah. Um, hmm. I mean, I suppose there is nowhere to go but forward. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, right. Let's let's, uh, let's fucking. Uh, let's, let's, I guess I'd, I'd only be able to go like this far, right? Yeah. Correct. You could dash if you would like to, but. I, you, you know. You get pretty far with a dash. Yeah, I'll dash. Ooh, I know. I'll okay. use my action to dash. Beautiful. Uh, you have a bonus action. Uh, you already used your movement, but you have a bonus action as well. Uh, Wait, that was the right distance, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, you're good. I, I think I get. Nice. Do I got one more foot? I think I do. I think yeah, since you passed, you, you passed five. through Sunder, it took 10 instead of 5, so you'd actually be back one more square. Oh, wait, no, wait. You... but my, my speed's 30, so... You'd have 55. Oh, maybe. okay, no, no, okay, my yeah, bad, sorry. Yeah, I was 25. I yeah, you got one more. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Um, awesome. Cool. You brandish still, your blade, yeah. couch it in your arm, ready for battle. And um, then, like, I guess I, I... I can't really do much. I don't have any... Right up there with you know. It's, oh shit! I can't. <laughs> can't reach uh, him. Yeah, I'll just I'll just hold for now. But I will yell, Zephriel, We will get rid of your little phobia, and there will be one less thing that will be able to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I a phobia. You... Oh, hell, hell, sorry. Really, How much yeah, are we yeah, allowed yeah, to yeah. talk on each other's turns? You can talk. You, you get one sentence about. Uh, you can talk to each other one sentence during your turn, and that'd be, that'd okay, be I just yell back. It's not a phobia. I'm just religious. <laughs> <laughs> the spider looks at you in your one exposed eye wall and chitters <laughs> and starts oozing this uh, green toxin from its its mandibles as it clacks a few feet ahead of you, it's eye- eyeing you up, sizing you up. I will clack back at you too. And uh, that's the. Uh, uh, end my turn. <laughs> okay, now it's Phoenix turn. Phoenix time. Phoenix moment. It's Phoenix okay. time. Phoenix moment. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's 85 feet. Cool. Very sick. I like that. Okay. Uh, and I can see it, right? It's not like oh, uh, correct. Yeah. Oh dudes. no, there, it's not too dark here. In fact, there is a little bit of natural light coming in from the ceiling. You can hear the waves crash against it as some water starts to drip down. Uh-huh. But uh, you guys are under the ocean, but you seem to be against like an outcropping uh, that the waves are beating against. Um, okay. You, but yeah, the, there's light in here. And it's not like it's like oh, I'm behind two dudes, so I can't see the target or anything. No, I, I will. I would imagine you will find an angle that will work because okay. I mean, you still again, mm-hmm. you still have. Uh, you still have a five, five, about five feet right there. You can sidestep. Okay, true. Um, like that's all you're able to do that. But if you get to where there is half the terrain there, you will have to make a check whether or not you're going to stand. Okay, I'm going to move here five. Is it five? Okay, okay cool. Yeah, that's fine. Within ninety feet, and I'm going to raise my weapon at the spider and say, "I guess that's my mark." And a Radical will appear like a little target, like a red etched target appears on its forehead. Okay. Cast hex. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Place the curse on a creature you can see within range of the spell as you do 1d6 extra. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right. Yes. Awesome. You, uh, this, this, this red, uh, sort of design begins to get etched on this spider. What's the symbol look like? It, it looks almost like a, like a crosshair, but it's like, it's, it's like a circle and like four lines of one on each cardinal direction. While you see this red start to 
peel across this furry spider's head. It kind of like shakes its head as if something is just like clawing at its face. Um, it's hexed. It's hexed. And now I take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. 13, 13 misses. A little far. This laser comes out of your uh, almost like a single unit of, of stone that is your, your, your gun rifle and cracks some of the uh, the rocks behind the spider as it sidesteps your beam. Um, the hex kind of tipped it off. Unlucky. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to move back so people can <laughs> then take my little spot and then, you know, shoot, <laughs> make it wait for the other people. That's okay. Turn. Uh, Argentum, it is your turn, but before that, okay. um, the, the bodies on the other side of the wall, on the other side of the chasm, rather, start to <laughs> vibrate <you>. more <laughs> intensely, and you see a glint of rusty steel carve through the cocoons on the other side of the chasm as several, uh, skeletons lurch their bones, uh, from the wall and uh from the from rock the, from the <laughs> rock. from the rock face <laughs> and appear on the other side of the chasm whoa wow, they they're move. animated too yeah they're animated isn't that fucking cool oh shit um, that's really cool they appear on the other side of the chasm and they begin to hiss and you hear their bones pop and and moan at you <laughs> right um that is their turn um i'm gonna put them in initiative really quickly before you take your turn um Sorry, just a second. That's all good. Do I hear bones? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes you they, do. They are on the other side of the chasm. Yeah, I am gonna make bridge. them all just for sake of brevity. I'm gonna make them all go on uh, the same count. That makes sense. Cool. Let me roll for these guys quickly. Those are spiders okay. like not in order. I know. I don't know why it's not in order. It's this is weird. It yeah. Doesn't know, this, Come this on, roll doesn't twenty. Know how to do math. Come on, roll twenty. <laughs> What's okay. math? Step it up. Math rocks All three game. of them are going to go on the same uh, initiative count, um, which is twelve next round. Um, and Argentum, you are up. Okay, I'm going to quickly turn to Zephyrael and just ask him very quickly: Are you planning to fight? Yeah. Did you see uh, uh, Zephyrael uh, has their hand on the wall, nearby wall, probably right next to one of those cocoons if it's near one of us, and just just like, just is just is heavily panting. Um, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Mate, no, a spider? Yes or no? Are you planning to fight the spider or the skeletons? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Would you like to be an inv invisible or not? That is what I'm asking you. Oh, that sounds lovely, actually. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to spend a narrative twist. Um, okay. I'm going to pull out Ooh. my journal and quill and start uh, writing frantic. Uh, I'm hitting my microphone and writing frantically. Um, so this, let me toss this in the chat for you. So this is an inscriptor uh, ability that I have called narrative twist. Uh, so I may spend one narrative twist as an action to place creatures within 30 feet of me up uh, under the invisibility spell. Ooh. Uh, so equal to or fewer than my uh, proficiency bonus, but I'm just going to cast it on Zeth and myself. Okay. So I'm going you to... Also... <laughs> Go ahead. You, if you, if you right-click your pogs, you can add little, uh, uh, like... Like symbols. Markers to show that you're like invisible or whatever. So it's the just so yeah. you remember. It's the, the middle cog. one. The the one beside or the, the middle one, the yeah. Bottom. The pearl looking one. Anyways, oh, continue gotcha. our Uh but yes, they are going to pen that and there will be a flourish of magic and the two of us will disappear. <sighs> you guys are gone. Come uh here. you just see footsteps uh behind you, Sunder. <laughs> what the f and is it is that your turn? <laughs> And I'm just gonna double check. I believe that is just my bonus action, but that is just, and then I'm going to scoot a little closer. Five, 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna get to around there. Argentum and Zeph fade into the shimmery blackness and become invisible. Um, you just feel footsteps and a presence behind you, but uh, you don't see anything, Sunder. Um, 
Next is the spider. Um, it is going to do a spider thing, and it's going to move forward, and it's going to attack the wall. Uh, we're no. going to roll here. Uh, okay. Does a 14 hit? No! Okay. <laughs> Got one more attack. Does a 16 hit? No! Okay. You are ducking and weaving this spider. <laughs> it cannot find purchase on you at all. You're just too good of a combatant. Um, you're able to dodge and, and get out of the way of its, of its Icarus mandibles and, and its really meaty legs. Uh, you, are, you are in pitched combat with this thing, and it's furious now. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, try to kill me. It's funny. The spider doesn't think it's funny. <laughs> the spider grimaces. G all right, God next. whispers in your ear. Did the spider uh, doesn't think it's funny at all. <laughs> Sunder, what would you like to do? Well, I'm mm. my turn. Just curious. Oh, uh -huh. true. What oh, my turn. Oh, my turn. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You were on ten. My bad. Just yeah, go yeah, ahead. Okay. I, I, this this turn order is terrible. Well, no, no, no. It's fine. I was actually going to ask on my turn if um. One, if I could make a religion check to know exactly the stigma around fighting or killing spiders, and if it's specifically normal spiders, giant spiders, or like people spiders, or if like there's some gray area there. Okay. Uh, you can and then I was check. then I was honestly just going to amazing skip my turn anyways. That's fine. <laughs> okay, there's still skeletons, <laughs> but yeah, you want to make a religion check? Yes. Go for it, bud. Okay. Oh. Rolling? Guy is rolling? Da, 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 da. Skills, skills. Religion plus, plus three. You should just be able to click religion. You should just roll it in the character my, sheet. Uh, yeah, my sheet, it's a little hard to get to, but I will do that next time. Okay, I got okay, a, 20. a natural wow. 20. Okay. Yeah, uh, thanks to Argentum's invisibility, your anxiety begins to, to ebb, and you start to center yourself, um, and you rack your brain for your teachings, uh, where your upbringing, what were the rules surrounding combating a spider, because you've just avoided them for the majority of your life. Um, you do remember that as long as an initial attempt to pacify doesn't work, and they are belligerent beyond any reproach, uh, you are free to, uh, to vanquish the thing because above all else, uh, Lolf teaches strength, oppression, and power, and you have the ability to seize that right now. Okay. Okay, religious. okay. Um, then in that case, I'm just going to like move half my movement, just kind of scurrying against the wall, heavily panting, and repeating some, some uh, mutter like muttering under my breath to myself, trying okay. to catch my, my uh, sanity yeah. as uh, I turn invisible. That's my turn. You Sorry, go you ahead. Steal yourself. You start to edge against the wall, not the wall, but you start to edge against the. <laughs> I start to edge. Bang! <laughs> the, 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 the the outcropping, the the, the, the whatever, the firmament. You start to edge against. You put your back up against it, and uh, you're getting closer and closer to the spider. Um, we are now. You did the spider. Got you. Okay, now it is Sunder's turn. Okay. Um, from where I'm standing, since I'm assuming my movement has fixed itself, uh, oh, I want to move yeah. closer to the. I want to move closer to the wall, uh, okay. just to be able to help out a bit. One, two, okay. Five. I want to move about here. You take off in a light jog down the crevice. Determined. Okay. So I think that was about 30 feet of movement, I believe, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Honestly. Okay. So I want to take, okay, that was 25. Uh, so I'm going to take another couple steps to get a little closer. It's so right about here. So Wait, where, where'd you start off from? Uh, I think it was right here. I, monks, yeah, right monks about, have right increased about movement. So I'd be, stupid. Yeah, step oh, away. Yeah, yeah. So right about here. So I've I've gotten rid of all of my movement points by being here. Okay. And that's perfectly fine. And then while or to the wall, um he excla he exclaims, uh I got your back, big guy. Not in, not exactly sure where Zeph and Argentum went, but I'm here to help out with you. Oh. Oh, that is good. I am I am dancing the dance of death with this big <laughs> thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. And you see him ducking all. and weaving spider, hairy spider <laughs> yeah. legs. <laughs> Fucking dodging and weaving. Yeah. All right. That's where I will uh, I will end mine. Nice. Okay. You're not going to attack or anything? No. Or you use your I, don't, I, don't okay. I don't have enough of a range to attack right yet. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Cool. All right. Uh, in that case, the wall's like, watch this. <laughs> so All right. What are you going to do? What's called a pro gamer move. Yeah. Um, you hear these mandibles clack together like so much pieces, so many pieces of plastic. Can I lift this thing? Um, <laughs> you're gonna, are you committing you're to doing. this? Once you do it. the check, you're committing. Oh my uh, god. I want to. I want to lift it over my fucking head. Okay. All right. Make a strength check. <laughs> oh. Please attempt to pacify <laughs> My god. Not one. Not one. Okay. You are able to lift it, but make an attack roll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of I curiosity. Guess, wait, what, attack with what? My with with my glaive or unarmed? Unarmed, or? unarmed attack. If you're lifting this thing, it's an unarmed attack. Okay. So in that case. <laughs> It'll be. <laughs> this guy's going over. Let's fucking oh, go! Yeah, another protagonist. You, of you find. <laughs> you find some uh, in your in your training. You're able to take out weak points, and this is this is just a creature, right? It's not terribly intelligent, so you're able to outmaneuver and um, with 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 extreme dexterity, which is honestly surprising to you, Sunder, right behind him. He mm -hmm. grabs underneath the thorax of this spider and lifts him up over his head this thing probably easily weighs 325 to 350 pounds and it's just over uh the wall's head right now thrashing and weaving around thrashing around uh very difficult to hold on to but um you've managed to with a 22 it is over your head what do you do <laughs> i'm throwing it in the fucking chasm <laughs> okay all right uh That'll you can use your bonus action you. for that uh yeah i guess i have to okay so you you heave this thing and it goes down into the darkness and you hear like it like starts to move around with it not 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 being able to grab onto any rock goes down into the abyss and uh it is gone for right now <laughs> for right now yes i have thrown it down the chasm <clears throat> You just hear the squeaking of the spider begin to fade. Um, <laughs> Hold on. Next. Uh, I guess I do, like it, so it, for right now it's it's gone off the screen, but do I get the block of my hex? Uh, you're able to tell where it is. Oh, I can still see it. It's not like. Yeah, you're oh, able it's... to tell where it is. Okay, so it, it didn't. Pro okay, I see. Nice. Okay, so the skeletons are next. Uh, ba, 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 ba. okay. Uh, this one is going to move this way. This one is going to move up here. Uh, this one is going to move over here, and uh, they are going to make rain. Let me double check the distance here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. So they are going to make ranged attacks against the two people that they can see, Sunder and the Wall. Um. Let me make these attacks very quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Sunder does a 16 hit. Does a 16 hit? Uh, yes. I would assume it would, yeah. Meets it, beats okay. it. <laughs> okay, uh, then you are going to take, let me double check this character sheet here. Uh, you are going to take three points of piercing damage as a, uh, gross rotted arrow comes from the other side of the chasm <laughs> and, uh, hits you right in the arm. Um, and one more. Uh, does a 14 doesn't hit, does it? Does a 14 hit? What's your I armor class? Don't... My armor class? Uh, yes. my armor class is 16. So it 16? Doesn't. Okay, no, it does not hit. So the first okay. one, ah, right into your arm. Uh, it kind of almost hits the bone. Uh, but the second one, you, you're able to see the other one coming and phew, you dodge out of the way and it, uh, racks itself against the rock and, and tumbles to the, to the dirt floor. Um, Wall, let me roll for you. This guy, uh, 17. That one does hit. That one does hit. Okay. Um, in, in your distractedness from you, like you, you were distracted by lifting this giant spider and throwing it into this chasm, uh, as you're celebrating, an arrow comes and hits you right in between the joints of your plate armor. And, uh, oh, it's going to sting a little bit, but it's nothing you haven't had before. You're going to take four points of piercing damage. 
You are next! Okay. Uh, those were all of the Skellingtons. <laughs> all right. Next is uh, Fee. Phoenix, what are you okay, going to do? Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh, let's see. So it didn't proc, which means I know that it's not dead. Uh, cool. But I, I can still see it down there, right? Well, you can... You, you know where your hex is, right? You know yeah. where it is. It is... You don't see the actual creature, but you know it's down okay. there. I know it's down there, and it didn't proc, so it, I know it's not dead. That's cool. Correct. Uh, it's not dead yet, guys, but I can't see it. So in that case, I will just fire one of the skeletons. Closest guy. Okay, fantastic. Board. Go for it. Huh. Take the shot. Oh, yeah, that hits. 19. Uh, damage? 10. This skeleton? How do you... How, sh describe how you do this. Uh, I just... Uh, I, I raise the, the, the magical firearm and I uh, aim it at the skeleton across the pit and, you know, put the, the stock against my shoulder and just aim down the side of it and shoot it straight through the eyes. You do yeah. so, and <laughs> this laser, this beam starts to light up some of the chasm below, um, and it clears this thing's head off of its shoulders, and... It drops its shield and sword right where it stands and begins to crumble into a pile of bones. The skull itself fades into magical dust uh, behind it. You have destroyed the skeleton. It is gone. A bit weaker than I thought. Mm hmm. That's my turn. Okay. Who would have cool. thought? Fantastic. Next work. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Amazing. All right. You're invisible, Zeph. You're against the wall. What do you do? I would like to. You said there's sacks on the wall. That I do. I hear them beating. Like, are they alive? Sacks? Oh yeah, it's or... like it's like they're it's like they're humanoid sacks, uh, just webbed up against the wall. It, it, if you if you get too close to them, it almost sounds like there is a a, a throng of bees in there. Just. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. So if I stuck my. F oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are, what are you eyes? thinking in there? Um, can I yell out uh, just to the general vicinity of the people sure. next to me? Should we uh, figure out what's inside these sacks? <gasps> Probably not. I don't think so. It could help. <laughs> <laughs> or it could prevent more spiders. I don't think so. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Against one. Okay, um. I'm going to just. Let's see. I have a, a bit of movement. And they're all along the wall, you said? Yeah, they're all along the wall. At about your head level, their legs start, and then they go up about five to six feet. Just a humanoid height. Uh, the medium sized humanoid height. Uh, but yeah, they're just like right above your head. Oh my god. Okay. Could I just like touch it? You wanna touch Is that it? an action? Yeah, I just like put my hand on it. I, like, push I mean, it yeah, it would be an action. Uh, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, uh, make a dexterity yeah. saving throw. God damn it. <laughs> okay, oh, I had to know. Deck Curiosity killed the Zep. <laughs> Little do we know, <laughs> Zep is dying today. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Okay. Uh, so it rolls two. It, it says there's two numbers. Which one do you use for this? Uh, a fifteen. If, you, if you're rolling with advantage, right? Eh, I'm not. So, I'm not trying to. I just click dexterity, and it rolls like that. Naturally. I I would imagine you have uh, advantage okay. at some point in your character sheet. Uh, I mean, it, uh, when you when you start roll twenty, it automatically puts advantage oh, always on. Okay. All so right. you need to go into the off, gear. Then. If you go into the gear next to spells. Underneath the gear, you should see player sheet type PC role queries advantage to uh, advantage always on or always will advantage. Change it to advantage toggle, and then you'll okay. get some. Extra I'll find buttons. that during uh, our other turns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just but roll yeah, a D20 I, I think plus the your first modifier. number is an eleven, so we can go with that. Okay. Uh, you touch this like vibrating humanoid husk, and your panic sets in as you start to pull away and you just can't uh and you feel underneath of you just like a, a a big buzzing vat of something 
right underneath of this web. It starts to protrude from the web a little bit, and this humanoid face looks down at you and begins to bite through the uh, the web as it starts to reveal eyes, and it looks at you with these red, piercing eyes and starts to screech. You're stuck and not invisible anymore. It bit me? <laughs> no, it didn't bite you. You're just oh, okay. stuck. It's a grappling. It, yeah. it just starts, it's like, Wah! like yelling at you. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't believe you touched it. Um, you are no this. longer invisible, and uh, okay. you're stuck to the wall. Uh, at least your hand is. Um, All right. Is there anything oh, else you would like to do? Your bonus I, action is talking. I don't, I don't suppose I could have a bonus action. Rip it off. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Then no. You, did, you talked a lot, like so I was going to consider that your bonus action. That's fine. That's fine. Guy okay, yapologist. Cool. Sorry. Yapologist. <laughs> yeah, we got a yapologist <laughs> over here. Okay. Uh, next up is Argentum. Uh, you're invisible. You two are against oh the wall, my. and you feel these buzzing husks behind you. Don't touch them. <laughs> I guess I wasn't going to. Um. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna cast Chaos Bolt, so I will be coming out of invisibility because I'm casting a spell. So <laughs> let, me, let me roll a, a sexy little D8 here and figure out what this is gonna be. Let's okay. Go. Gamble, 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 gamble. Chaos bolt. Spin the wheel. What? Okay, so it's acid right. damage. Cool. I'm gonna be hurling it at Yay Skelly Boy. Yonder Skelly Man. Yonder okay. there. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me one of the DKs. I'm just double checking the damage because I don't have it implemented because I'm a stinky. I felt that one, don't worry. I can't read. <laughs> Everything's small. I don't have my like, computer glasses on. Hold on, I have to lean into my computer. Uh, my computer glasses on. My computer glasses. We're all old here. My computer glasses. Where are my glasses? Chaos Bolt does uh, two yeah, it's D8 2D8 plus, one plus one D6. Two D8. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a hefty amount of damage. Oh, okay. Hey, man, it's roller. But, but it has to hit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Slay Let's him. Hit this boy. Slay my liege. Plus my spellcasting, which is a hickety heckin. Hickety heckin. Hickety heckin. Be a plus five. On your spell page, it just say your spellcasting. Yeah. I just realized you can see my model swaying. My dice roller. Moving back and forth. My dice roller wouldn't move properly from the bottom of my screen, so I was struggling to try to get it. I was like, I need to. You got this, I believe. Yeet. Do work, your highness. Okay. Slay your enemy. 16? 16? <laughs> oh, that hits. Wow. Roll some damage. All right, all right, all right. So, 2D. Kill, kill. Yes! Kill! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, I'm going to roll the 2D8, and then I'll do the D6 separately, just because of the way that you can... Let's go. Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. How do you, how do you, how do your spells manifest? How do you cast your spell? Uh, so Argentum still has their that's journal crazy. out. They are going to, yeah, that was really gross damage. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, they really just start, um, magic kind of is like pulling off of their quill as they like write it quickly across their journal and they tap their quill into the final period of their spell and a bolt of energy lifts from the page and shoots straight at the skeleton's face. And that it does. It makes a very, very gorgeous uh, arc across this uh, this endless chasm, and it hits the skeleton and doesn't really seem to do anything at first, but after like a second, starts to sizzle, pop, and, 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 and whine as all of the armor becomes a pool of liquid on the skeleton and you see his chin uh his chin bone wag and come off he drops his shield and sword which clatter into the chasm below and you hear a last final ah! as he comes into a pool of acid that starts to bubble and hiss on the rock itself uh this thing is dead all right well that's me um and i'm going to move to i gotta stop Sometimes I don't like roll 20. I'm going to get to there because that'd be my 30 feet. Okay, cool. That's me. That's your turn. 
Excellent. That's nice. Next is the spider. And you guys hear along the, the sides of the rock, you hear the dull thuds of of legs as it begins to move along the side of the cavern. Oh, God. <laughs> and then up here. And then it's gonna it's gonna make an attack. Um, it is going to. Hmm. Let's see. What exactly I do? Uh. What is the range on this thing? 30, 60 feet. Okay. Um. It's going to start to. It's gonna rear its its ass at you. Its thorax at you guys. And it starts to wave around. And it looks a little silly at first. But you see this white liquid foam from its rear. And it starts to, it, it, it makes its way in an arc over to this area here. Um, I need uh, Phoenix and Zeph to make dexterity saving throws. Okay. I hear it quivering, Six. I hear it quivering. Oh, I, it. I did not throw the spider far enough, it seems. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> okay, I'll it. kill it now. Oh, it'll die. So dex save? Yeah, make a dex save. Nice, very oh. cool. Ooh, my shit. Okay. It was my almost a 20 on my dice. On my oh, man. Dice. Okay. So, deck save? Next, Zeph. Yeah, deck save. Oh, my God. That is a 14. Oh. <laughs> so, Zeph, you have come in contact with this stuff before. Several times, as a matter of fact. And uh, you're no stranger to it. You know how it operates. And you're able to ah, get out of the way of it as it spreads itself and begins to propagate along the floor like, like some sort of fungus. Um, but... Uh, stuck to the wall, right? Yeah, you are still stuck to the wall, but you are not stuck to the floor. Um, great. <laughs> which is great. Uh, but, uh, Phoenix, you are stuck to the floor. You are in webbed um, wow. from your, like, waist down. This stuff starts to creep up your thighs and uh, up against your, uh, along your waist, and you just can't <clears throat> move from the ground. Uh, let me double check and make sure. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, you're stuck there, man. Uh, the, the spider... <laughs> It starts to hiss and uh, clack itself at you and turns around and looks at you guys with so many eyes and they all start to like wince and, 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 and look around. Um, it's prepping something, but that's its turn. That's all it can do. Um, oh, boy, looking. Next is top of the turn order with Thunder. Okay. Um, I want to move up close to it and hit it with my quarter staff. Hmm. Okay, you can do that. Do. You so... go around Argentum, tuk, 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 up to the spider, whipping so, out your quarterstaff, flailing it around a little bit. So it's about, spider's about 25 feet. I'll move 20 feet because my quarterstaff has a five foot reach. Um. Okay, cool. And I will attack it with, yeah, I'll just attack. Nice. Okay. Go for it. Okay. 23, that fucking hits, dude. Fuck, Fuck yeah. Yes. That does hit. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> Sunder bops it in the fucking face. Okay. And <laughs> he has this really sadistic looking smile on his face. Um, he's just, freaky like that. Oh, yeah. He's, <gasps> he's very intricate with when he's hitting things. Um, but How much damage does it do? Um... How much damage did this do? Really press the quarter step button. That's yeah, what I did. Roll your damage. Oh, okay. It doesn't show. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't show your damage. That's weird. Oh, it says 23. No, that's no, no. That's the damage. The, no, that's to hit. hit. Oh, that's the hit? Oh, okay. Here. So uh, once you confirm that it hits, now you roll damage. Okay. Damage Which type. The quarter staff would be 1d6 like or. 6 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're using two hands, that. it's 1d8. Yeah. Okay. But it depends so. on how many hands you have on the pole, you know? Yeah, how many <laughs> hands you got on that pole, man? Both? I imagine I imagine both of them for max damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tons so of damage. He will... He'll hit it normally. He won't hit it with two hands. Okay, so just one hand? All right. Sweet. Yeah. He does nine Holy shit. Damage. Nine uh, bludgeoning damage. Nine. Why yeah. is there two there? That's weird. That's but I'll take nine. They're both nine. It, specify it. You come up to it. You spin your staff around. You, you get it right in the eye. And you just hear this hideous screech come from it as it recoils and it starts to blink them open again and it's looking at you with absolute fury and disdain uh you are next a hundred percent it's icker begins to drip from its mandibles as it seems to like salivate at the thought of webbing you up just like one of those guys 
Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you want to do? Uh, he just kind of talks. He lets out a laugh. <laughs> How do you like that, you fucking eight-legged bitch? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next is a uh, wall. It's gotten Holy away from you. Sunder just went right on that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give him a little bonk. Um, okay. Uh, wall. Am I... Hmm. I Both could... of you are getting a raise. Can I move here? <laughs> or, right like, here. I'm assuming I can't stand on like this area here. If right? you move there, you will have to make a deck save as to whether you will stand or be prone. Die. And what about oh, here? Prone. Uh... I mean, yeah, you can you can move there. I feel like you can move there. And I think I should still be able to. Yeah, I can still reach it. Yeah, you'll be able to do it. I have I a will... I have a reach weapon. Okay, you have a reach weapon. That's that's yeah. great. Yeah, you have a glaive. That's fantastic. Uh, all right, so Wall's gonna charge ahead and be like, "I probably should have just killed you instead of throwing you, but it was worth a shot, I think." <laughs> uh, and uh, we're gonna go swing at this 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 bastard. 23 Ooh. hits. Nice. Yeah, You're good, man. yeah. Hell yeah. Nine damage. Hell Nine yeah. damage? Yeah. Awesome. It starts to like shriek again and uh, you cleave off three of its legs that just kind of twitch and writhe on the rock as it starts to support itself with the remaining of it, just like that three-legged stool back in the tunnel. Um, <laughs> uh, it's gonna try its hardest. This thing is going to fight to the death. Um, but you managed to get a fucking phenomenal blow on it, and uh, it looks pretty rough, but it's going to keep fighting. Oh, well, you should have stayed down in the chasm. Now you will die violently. <laughs> okay, uh, fantastic turn. Um, next is going to be the remaining Skelly Man. Um, okay. He is going to hobble his bones over this way, and uh, he is going to attack Argentum. Uh, let me roll to attack. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not very hey. nice. Uh, ooh, this is a 19. Well, I imagine that's that hits. <laughs> Hit my, uh, my sexy little 13 AC. Yeah, buddy, do damage. Let's go. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> out of range, out of earshot, you just barely hear the, uh, the bending of the U bow that it pulls back in its ancient wood and it snaps. Psh, psh, and you get hit in the chest with this disgusting arrow. It does look like it might infect you with, so with something, but uh, you are hit uh, for, let's see, six points of piercing damage. Money. All right, all right. Get you square in the chest. <laughs> fuck. Knocks the fuck, wind out fuck. of you. Um, and that is its turn. That is all it can do. Uh, next is uh, Phoenix. Oh, you are webbed. How about this sticky white stuff on me? Is it? Am I yeah. grounded or am I like restrained? What's the? <laughs> you are restrained. Yes, you are I'm restrained. D and D five be restrained. <laughs> he can never remember restrained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can make a strength can't... check if you would like to burst out of it. But I can't. Oh, okay. But I, I can still attack though, right? I don't need to. Yeah, you can attack. You just can't oh. move. Well, that's completely it's fine. A disadvantage too. Your attack. <clears throat> Is it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Against the creature, have advantage against. Oh, okay, that's really cool, guys. Uh, the creature's disadvantage on deck saves. Yeah. Strength and then I can become zero. Yeah. Okay. You're good. But yes, uh, I will. Can't attack attempt. at disadvantage. Oh, I do not like the white shit on me. I'm going to attempt to break out of it. So okay, make a strength check. Okay, strength check. That's I, I'm great at these guys. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I trust. You got Convincing. It. I believe. <laughs> oh, oh my god! My. Oh my god. <laughs> it might as well be uh, petrifying your legs. It might. You might as well be encased god. in stone. This shit's fucking everywhere, dude. Yeah, you are snapping your muscles and you feel as much energy as you can pull them from the stone, but you just can't. It has cemented you there. Uh, this spider has got some serious webbing going on. Uh, unfortunately, you do not break out of the web. Um, and that was your action. Do you have a bonus action you would like to do? Uh, no, I'm good. And you didn't I'll hit just... it, so you can't hex. Yeah. Okay. Unfort. Okay. Unfort. Um, unfort. unfort. 
You are pasted to the ground, my friend. All right, next is uh, Zeph. Yes, uh, I'm going. I'm going to just be like, release me, and then try and really yank my hand off the wall because it's still stuck. Okay, let right? me double check and see exactly what this is. Yes, you are also restrained, so make a strength check. Yes, yes, I will. Uh, strength. You could also just like, a, hit it. Just, just, could... just a strength check or no athletics or anything doesn't matter. I mean, it's whatever your better one is. Wait, athletics or acrobatics. Hit? I can hit it. Yeah, you can hit the web too. I mean, you can do anything. It's D and D. All right. Okay. This isn't okay. Sorry. This isn't like web, right? No, it is web. The thing on the wall. It is web. You are in web. Okay. Yes. <laughs> if it wasn't That's obvious, hard. but yes, yeah, you are web. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna roll strength because I don't have. Oh yeah. Hey. Fifteen. You, I got a fifteen. You dodge out of the way of the web on the ground, and you you kind of prop <laughs> yourself up against the wall with your legs, and <laughs> you're able to rip yourself from the wall, and um, the buzzing inside isn't. It doesn't look like it's bees or anything like that. It just looks like it. these legs are vibrating so intensely uh, that it's just like, you know, humming against this rock. You're free. Um, you are unbound. And um, let me double check. I have to make sure that this is, you are, you have, it was right here. Okay. Ah, I guess you're, 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 as long as you don't step back here, you are free from the webbing on the ground. Okay, um, okay. And, and it you was my action to free now. myself. Yes. Oh, man. Whatever's in there is buzzing and it has teeth. Um, dude, I don't know. There's like, oh, okay, okay. So I can I can step right here, right, and not be yeah, in yeah, your web. Correct. Okay, I don't have an action. My bonus actions. I don't think there's anything else I can really do. You see this big not... fuzzy spider butt in your face, about ten feet away. It's like uh, waving around. I know. Yeah, I would probably just see the, like the shape of it, really. Mhm. Mm um, that's all I can do. Especially honestly. since it's a spider. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna get any details or anything. No, it's mostly the sound that's really fucking with me. Like the the yeah. legs and then shit that you described. It yeah, is, I it don't is have hideous. any. I don't have any bonus actions I can do, so I'm just gonna stand here. Okay, awesome. Just kind of stand there. Uh, a little, a little afraid. Um, but uh, we'll move over to Argentum. All right. Pacify it. What's Pacify the spider. I yell out to everybody. <laughs> I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to cast Rit Seizure. So Ooh. what that Ooh, does what is I, I conjure a narrative within the mind of a target within range, forcing them to experience the sensation of physical pain. That target's, target must make an intelligence saving throw, taking 1d10 psychic damage on a failed save. Uh, the save DC is 13, so if you can make okay, an intelligence I'm gonna, save on the I will spooner, roll. I will roll this on the board since if this succeeds, there's going to be a lot of shit that happens. Um, Let's fucking go. Blah, blah, no wonder blah. you're famous. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, that's wrong. That's wrong. Incorrect. I, again, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. My eyes are closed. Don't, don't. <laughs> this is actually really funny that I'm rolling it on the board too because it's it's yeah. rolled at a minus four. <laughs> a 14. What was the DC? 13. Damn. Oh good. my god. Unlucky. This thing knows who is trying to hurt it and beyond <laughs> sunder you he you see this thing creep out the side because it's limping on on one side due to its minus legs uh and it, it looks at you and you see these like glistening eyes begin to water themselves over as it finds a new target uh it is. you're next so that um, was the bonus action okay did it work <laughs> i don't think so um, I'm just double checking that it sure. is. Sure. Take your time. It is, it is my bonus action. Cool. I'm just making sure I'm using my my uh my class right. Um, <laughs> in response to that, I'm gonna cast bleed ward on myself. Okay, that's probably smart. <laughs> yup, and I'm gonna back the fuck away. So, um, I have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. So I'm gonna just. Okay. Oop. Paul ass. Five, ten, fifteen. You got an arrow in your chest. <laughs> yeah, they're just like good spider. Good spider starting to write a new spell as they cast Blade Ward and cast <laughs> just back away. Okay, fantastic. Um, That's me. And next is the spider itself. Um, it is going to tear after you. Both Wall and Sunder make a, uh, opportunity attacks. Oh, would like to. pleasure. Okay. Hmm. I think Thunder will hit it with his quarterstaff again as it's trying to pass by. Nice. Sure. Uh, Ditto with my blade. 
Fantastic. Ooh, Whoa. Awesome. 22. Fantastic. Oh, there's the, there's the damage. 14 you know, damage. damage. Oh my god. No, no, no. That's the maximum amount of damage. Fuck okay. yeah. Wow. So Alright, Juzo. 13 close. does not hit. Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, as this thing pulls past you, you, you do make an attempt, but it, it, it kind of bumps into you and, and fucks up your fucks up your attempt. Um, while, however, a glint in your eye, uh, you see those remaining legs and those just have to go. You <laughs> slice off the remaining legs on one side of the spider. It still has a little bit of fight left in it, uh, but it's weird. Uh, you've never seen a creature this voracious, this hungry for, for, for blood. It, it's lusting right now after Argentum, and honestly, who wouldn't? But it's lusting right now after Argentum as it starts to pull itself and claw itself with its remaining legs towards them. Okay, that's the spider's turn. It does not like attack anybody. It's it's attacking the the, the mechanics are its attack. Who it attacks whoever attacked it last. Um, Sunder, you're up, homie. What you do? Uh, you just got bumped into by a spider with like six legs. I can't believe that thing just brushed me off as if I was merely, you know, a piece of trash. I'm not taking kindly to that. Yeah, so you should Thunder. kill it in retaliation. I Don't think I'm going personal. to. That's one brain cell. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't have any more it's a after minus what I to it. So I think uh, Sunder is going to run up it. Uh, from here, he will run up right about there and... Okay, so right there, grab, so right about here, and then from here, Sunder is going to hit it with an unarmed strike. Okay. Um, let me see. So, bop. 13. Does that hit? A 13 does not hit. Fuck. Okay. Um, oh, well, if that's the case, then I would like to use a bonus action of another unarmed strike. Hell yeah, let's go. All right. 12. That one, okay. 12 does not hit. <laughs> Shit. You are, you. It, it, it's moving in such an erratic way now that it doesn't have mm. any legs. It's becoming very difficult to predict. And uh, you swing at the space where there were legs and you get a little bit of its guts on your fists, uh, but it does not, none of, none of, none of your, um, your fists land on this fuzzy thorax at all, unfortunately. Okay. It, uh, it doesn't notice you because and you didn't hit it, so it, it doesn't really seem to care. Uh, it's really, really dead set on biting into a little bit of Argento. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Wall, what do you? Wall will do what Wall does best. I will try to kill this thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> buddy. Wow. It's so fucking Let's well. go. Yeah. Okay, this guy Let's is real go. hot today. That's another 10. 10? <laughs> How do I kill this thing? How do I kill it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so, Wall's going to be like, watched uh, Sunder's attempts to punch it. And he says, Stand back, my friend. I will show you how you do this. And he just, like, lifts it up, like, lifts up his glaive and gives it the big old executioner chops, bringing it all the way down and, like, cuts the thorax or whatever straight in the middle like like parts it like Solid. moses parting the red sea Solid. oh you do it giant with, spider <laughs> with gusto and vigor you bring the glaive down the sharpest point of it manages to get right through like cutting so much fine beef it splits this spider open the thorax splays itself everywhere there are spider guts that you didn't think could come in that size uh just <laughs> sloughing out as it <laughs> has a death knell and uh the, the 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 remaining legs start to thrash and claw continuously clawing towards argentum its eyes locked on you and it fades the life from it goes as its legs begin to twitch and uh it starts to slow its movement and become still um is there anything else you would like to do on your turn that wall will just like point to its corpse and say, see, you just, you just hit it and then it dies. It's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you managed to hit it because yeah. it was a slippery bastard. It's fantastic. A long weapon so you can yeah, hit long, even yeah. further away. I'll be sure that. to pick one up. <laughs> okay, we have the remaining skeleton is next. Okay, you um, know what? At, at this point, 
screw trying to break out the web. I'm just gonna roll a disadvantage. I don't care anymore. Oh, I can okay. also, as a bonus, I, I can move the hex to the skeleton. I think. Okay. For hex. As well, on your turn, right? Yes, it's my turn. Okay, cool. Um, the remaining skeleton is going to shoot its arrow, its bow, at uh, the wall on the other side of this uh, derelict bridge. Um, oh, it has a turn. That's right. I forgot. Does a 17 hit? A 17 does hit. Okay, cool. All right, you are going to take, um, again, just kind of like your your celebration is rudely interrupted by this arrow that <laughs> hits you in another weak spot. <laughs> How it's managing to find this these these spots is beyond you, um, but you take six points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, no, actually, that's good. Uh, you okay. know what? No. Um, as a, as no. a, in response, as okay. a reaction... Uh, I'm going to use Stone's Endurance okay, to cool. uh, reduce the damage dealt to me by 1d12 plus 3 per short rest. So let me just do roll a 1d12 plus 3. So it reduces by 11. <laughs> you take zero damage as it this thing... It literally just bounces off. It bounces. It, it does find the weak spot, but... You are just too thick, my friend. And uh, the, these these arrows are quite weak and frail and ancient, so it just poof, bounces and rattles into the abyss. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Just, Wall just flexes, and the, the arrow just can't. Yeah, like yeah. It. He's, <laughs> he's right off of your fucking packs, dude. <laughs> Built different. <laughs> Not um, this time. <laughs> I see you. Okay. Uh, mm. Next is Zeph. Now it's your turn. Oh, okay. Fine. Um. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. my bad, yeah. sorry. <clears throat> the web is still here. Question mark? Yes. It didn't yes. actually, like, okay, it's not constant, okay, it's not a spell, cool. Uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to move the hex to the skeleton instead. Okay. And the mark will burn in the skeleton's forehead. He notices you. I'm going to say, honestly, I'm going to break out of this, and I'm going to just fire disadvantage at the skeleton. Okay, all right. Which probably will not hit, but it's it's all you know what? You never know. Eighteen. Oh. That hits, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Roll the damage. Roll the hex damage. Holy 19. shit! Shit. Yeah. How do you kill this thing? Uh, same way I dispatched the other one. Uh, one clean shot right between the fucking face, like where the reticle is on his forehead. Okay. Yeah. It's like you are, you're lining up your shot as the hex starts to burn in. It notices the hex on its forehead and looks up. And before it can even register what's going on, this beam of light knocks its helmet clean off. Uh, its entire body gets thrown against the rocks behind it. And uh, the shield and sword and its bow and all of its arrows scatter amongst the rocks. Uh, that thing is dead as well. Um, you are out of initiative. We Everything is dead. Let's go. Ooh. Give me just a second. I'll switch all this music up. And also give me just a minute to roll out of this web. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wall's gonna go over to uh, to the webbed people and and be like, "Are you all right? Is, do you need help?" I'm free. We won. We won. Yes. <laughs> you see, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> you spider. You just kill it. It's done. However much money you need at the end of your job, you've got it, my friend. Oh, I will, I will think on this. I, I need to pick a number. Yes, but not too high. Oh, 18 was a nice one. Okay, I am going to go to the bathroom really quick, but I'll be back in like 90 this seconds. Champ. Reset Perfect. yourselves, figure out what you're going to do next. Okay. You see exactly what you see before you is, 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 is right there. So, be right back. Okay, cool. <sighs> <laughs> I guess, I guess we all just deep pose. <laughs> yeah. Good deep posing in the fucking Good combat, cavern. guys. That was good. Hell good. yeah, y'all. We lived. We high rolled. I don't know. I feel like we really high rolled. Yeah, it's all downhill for me. <laughs> yeah. We high rolled. <laughs> Used up all my, my, my luck on that one. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm not allowed to take the lucky feat because it works against oh. me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just like, you said luck. I was like, yeah, so uh, don't let me take the lucky feet this campaign. But it's so good. It's good for everyone who's not Hayden. <laughs> okay. All Listen right, I am back. Um, oh uh, so you guys are in this cavern. Um, there's a dead spider. There's a couple of dead skeletons on the other side. Um, there, let's see. Yeah, what would you like to do? 
you see that gate on the other side of the chasm itself. Um, it's pretty. It's a little dark, but you can still see most of what uh, what's on the ground and around you, um, except for Def. But <laughs> is that the is that the only like exit that we can see, or? I mean, the exit you the place you came from is locked off. It's been it's right. been there was yeah. an earthquake and there's just tons and tons of rock that's in your way now. So, who wants to go back and check out the uh, second container? I don't um, know if we can exactly get back that way. Yeah. Unless w what are the odds? somebody wants to barrel through all of it. I don't exactly have any magic that could go through it. Um, Wall like 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 poses <laughs> heroically like. Mm. Given a few hours, I'm sure Wall could dig a very deep hot tunnel. Yes, Possibly. but perhaps eh, maybe we should leave with more alacrity if we are to, because uh, I don't like look of these things. And like he points to the the bulging egg things on the walls. They're still vibrating. Um, yeah. they, 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 these things have been activated. Um, Sunder, you do know, as somebody who has lived in the city for upwards of a month, that mm -hmm. these, where you are right now is basically the, the no-no zone. It's this subterranean Swiss cheese of old city that's just been built over, built over, built over, and built over. So this is like, you know, striations and layers of Ivbranca that have been here for upwards of a thousand years. Um, there will be a way to get out, but it may be confusing. Uh, it's it, there's, it, it's it's kind of like being in the underdark a little bit, and and you you, you probably know what that is. Um, but it's gonna take a bit of doing. Uh, it's not easy to get out, and uh, it looks like the gate on the other side seems to be an entrance into an older part of the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I will recast the light cantrip on the wall's helmet. Okay. Cool. Um, and I think, I think uh, I'm going to just kind of head over to this bridge and uh, shout down into the chasm and try and gauge. I mean, like what we're working with depth wise here. If we uh, fall on our way across, if we make it across. Okay. So I'll just go, uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and using your heightened sense of awareness with both you know, touch and hearing, you're able to gauge based on how fast everything slaps back, based on how far it goes before it comes back, um, and, and the width of the chasm itself, this thing doesn't stop. Oh, and you know there what? Is, it's just it, like, into the void. <laughs> That's amazing. I'll also, I'll also, you know what? Since you know we're talking about my senses here, I'll uh, activate one of my divine. I'll activate divine sense. Okay. Um. That's so within sixty sense. feet. Yeah, within sixty feet. If I can sense it in that range, anything that's being affected by the hollow spell, or any celestials, fiends, undeads within sixty feet. Um. You get a very faint undead aura from across the chasm. You know, three of them. Um, and those you would assume were the skeletons that you fought. Uh, and let me check the rest of this map quickly. Um, there are no other undead, fey, or fiend kind of pings that you're getting, other than, you know, Sunder is kind of raising a few alarm bells, but that doesn't seem to be... You, 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 you know his presence is there. And, and just for my own personal... Comfortable, comfortability. No celestials within sixty feet, especially the people that are around me now. Uh, no, there are no celestials. Great. <sighs> That's all I got. Okay. Cool. Mm. Um, Sunder, could you make a uh, make a perception check? Perception. Got you. Yeah. Let me see. Perception. Perception. Uh, boom. 17? Oh, shit. Yeah. So, up about 100 feet uh, to your guys' left, diagonally, there is this uh, craggy opening that has been spilling in water from the ocean every now and again as a wave crashes against it. And uh, you've kind of been tracking that a little bit. Uh, it's the only source of light in here besides uh, the light spell on Wall's helm. Uh, but 
you hear a distinct and memorable hawk screech as it kind of a red blur flies in through that outcropping and that hole and flies down over to you and uh, perches on your shoulder. Um, it turns its head at you, looks at you, kind of nuzzles up against you and starts like, you know, conversing with you, not necessarily talking in any way you can understand, but it's it's happy to see you. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you too, Lester. Very nice to see you. I'm assuming you've flown in here through somewhere. Where where did you come from? Um, and he looks over towards that hole, and uh, you also start to see a humanoid creep through into that hole <laughs> and climb down. Let me make some checks here. Hold on. This guy has a bird. <laughs> Roll a one, uh, that person falls into the it... abyss and dies immediately. <laughs> Uh, with a little difficulty, uh, whoa, whoa, and there's a guy that slowly over the like 50 feet that he has to descend to get to uh, this area right here. Actually, let me let me move him. Gotta go to the right layer. Look. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Me when GM layer. Uh, you see a humanoid <laughs> drag or uh, uh, sidle down uh, this this craggy outcropping of rock, and. Uh, you're able to see this guy from, you know, across the crevice. Uh, and he like, looks clearly. at you, squints at you. You're lucky I've been following you. Hey. Who, this? <laughs> Who are you? So, first and foremost, I would like to introduce myself to all of you. My name is Sunder. Uh, that right there is Kelly. He's like Kelly is wiping uh, dust and pebbles off of him and waves a little bit. <laughs> All right, there's Kelly. Kelly is somewhat of a hero here in Ivbranca. And what, what we, we've noticed is since being down here, we've kind of tracked ourselves into a place that's not really supposed to be accessible. We're not meant to be down here in the slightest. So him being And you're here, not supposed to be out during the day. Ouch. Oh, really? Uh, you like in you like on, on probation or something? He, uh, this character gets closer to you, and uh, as you're, he gets right about here. You're able to. He's coming. He comes into view, and these like long flowing black robes that he's wearing are actually it seems to be flaps of like leather, um, the supple like dark green leather. And as he is moving, uh, he had a little bit of difficulty coming down this like sheer rock face. But as he's moving, he moves himself with a little bit of grace. Uh, this like functional, uh, like rudimentary, uh, like way of movement. He, but he has a sheathed sword sword at his side. He's got a crossbow secured uh, on his back. Um, he's got longer black wavy hair that uh, comes around his face that shows that uh, this guy looks like he's been through the ringer a couple of times, but in like a life spent in the wild kind of way. Um, he has endured guy. some hardships. He's a very rugged guy. Um, and he seems to talk with a, a familiarity uh, that is different than what you've seen in Ibranca so far. Um, he's got, you know, uh, he has vibrant red feathers that are kind of draped across his shoulder and almost like a pauldron, um, kind of reminiscent of the, uh, the bird that flew in. Um, and that bird launches itself off your shoulder and flies across the chasm and lands itself on uh, Kelly's shoulder. Who did you drag down here? Well, to be fair, I'm not the one who dragged them down here. They dragged me down here as and Sunder pats Zef on <laughs> pats Zef on the shoulder. This one here kind of helped me out of a tight spot. Uh, we were being chased by the guards uh, earlier and this one hired me into their services to protect them. So if I wasn't for this one, uh, what did I tell you about taking weird deals? It's not weird. It's just contractually obligated to follow me around and keep me from bumping into things on a pay-to-go basis. Wait, you're the you're the diplomat that's supposed to be here. Why are you down here? <laughs> um, funny story. It's not that funny. 
Curiosity. It's pretty funny. He might find it Should funny. I do him? I just want to like whisper to um to Sunder. Uh personally, I don't think it's a great idea if he did that because he's very good at you know differentiating if you're lying or not. All right, listen, buddy. Um, <laughs> we we're here to pick up our free shit and. Inside of the container that contains our free shit, there's a hole. We thought, ah, cool hole. And so we <clears> went <throat> down the hole together, and now we're here. So yes, you we're, came. We're hole buddies. You came from that direction, and he points in the direction you came. Uh, yeah, but we can't go back that way. It's a little bit uh, caved in. Sunder, we need to bring these guys to the hollow. I think that would be a good idea. As long as they're safe, um, that's that's what matters at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, what? Well, you saw what I've been doing the past two or three years. That tunnel you just came from? I've been gathering some information on... Baron Edo. It's better if we explain in the hollow, okay? Hold on, wait a second. You're the guy who made the three-legged stool? I didn't make uh, the stool. Why does it matter? So, so many stools have three legs. <laughs> we broke it. He's high. They, they you, broke it. Well, he it's broke true. it. I did, I did break it. It's, it's if we don't get out of here in the next 15 minutes, those husks are going to burst. Uh, oh. Well, okay. What do you want us to do, Kelly? Because yeah. the bridge is... No, exactly. F functional. Yeah, Kelly puts his hands on his hips and just kind of like... <sighs> and he takes out a rope um, and he ties it, lassos it uh, over to the other side and then ties it down really hard. Uh, Lester starts to, you know, help him with his beak to get a little bit more uh, power behind it. And there is a very taut rope going from one side of the bridge to the other. I don't care how you get across, just do it. You've got to be kidding me. Be fucking for real. Well, I, I think it would be best if I went last, just in case. Sunder cast the wall. Kelly kind of laughs to himself. <laughs> <sighs> well, it's not like we have any other choice. We can't go back that way, and he points at the caved in wall. So we have to go straight. Mm. Otherwise, we're stuck. And those things, he points at the eggs. Those things are going to burst any minute. You see how fast they're vibrating? We yeah, could die very quickly. The frequency has been getting higher and higher and higher, especially you, Zeph, have been noticing how loud it's been. It's been very difficult to even communicate to Kelly across because there's... All and, right, and... let's just do this. That's the spirit. I mean, you can let... You, then there's, there's, you don't have to take the rope. If you have another way to get across the chasm, be my guess. Oh, yeah, um, of course. I can nope. just teleport at level two yay <laughs> i can't it's like that 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 was a joke <laughs> <laughs> I our wish gentle it was a joke. go to climb down and climb across the rope with their okay. little, little piddly nerd arms but let's go <laughs> okay all right uh make an athletics or an acrobatics check your choice to, uh, oh gosh <laughs> as you walk past just a reminder falling will mean death Great, thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's all the same to me. <laughs> do, the, do, the, do the filter with your own voice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Check my filter. Okay. Okay. 15? 15, yeah. You're able to, uh, your spindly nerd arms, you're not very heavy. Um, you're able yeah. to arm over arm over arm. You know, all of your uh, your equipment is dangling over this chasm. It, you almost feel as though there's a gravity pulling you really hard as you move across. Um, but, you know, you're able to get to the other side. Uh, Kelly looks at you, gives you a bit of a half smile, and get, <laughs> motions for a high five. Um, they will raise their hand and go for a very light, awkward high five. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gives it a little, he puts a little sauce on it and uh, smacks your hand down. Good job. Um, thank you. All right, so who's next? I suppose it'll be me. 
Okay, let's see. Is it acrobatics? Or athletics? Or athletics. Or whatever you're better at. Oh, I love this. Minus one. Just <laughs> let's go, boy. Nope, seven. Seven? Um, it is really hard. Uh, you are weighed down with not only just not only your weapon, but your yeah. pack, um, the 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 heaviness of your clothing, and this supernatural uh just pull that you are feeling towards the inky blackness below you. Um it is difficult. You do slip a couple of times uh getting onto the rope. But once you are able to get into a rhythm and you find your 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 pacing about halfway through, it becomes significantly easier and uh you manage to make it across the chasm. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm like one one handing it like my other hand like holding the weapon, you know. Like yeah. It. yeah. It was. It, it instilled fear in you. It almost felt as though there was something down there that was pulling you down. But uh, you, you made it, and you're safe. The anxiety fades, and uh, Kelly gives you a nod and a smile. Next. <laughs> All right. Just don't tell any of the circuses. <laughs> You'll oh, be I'm fine. Moved. They're hiring. <laughs> I can't so move is... my token. <laughs> oh, can you not? No, you know, suddenly. If wow, you use the on. select tool um, at the... Oh, wait, no, I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 there it is. All right, sweet. Um, All right, acrobatics or athletics, Zeph? Yep. Gravity mm -hmm. gets heavier acrobatics. as you go down. It's strange. What? The gravity gets heavier. Kelly just sees a blindfolded <laughs> person begin to walk across oh, the see. rope. Uh... Is he going to be okay? And uh, I mean, it will be it's... fine. It will be okay. I am right behind you, Zephrael. You will do great. But yeah, yeah, as you, you can say, see, yeah. he can't. But he can probably <laughs> find a rope. I mean, he's gotten around so far, so I think he should be fine. Oh, Zeph, you're not invisible anymore. You can take your marker off. Right, right, right. Um, I think uh, Zephrael just feels a bit of pain in between their shoulder blades, thinking about getting across here. Uh, and then starts yeah. to walk. Here we go. I felt old man pain what? thinking about it. He's You're tightrope walking? That's fucking sick. Hell yeah, yep. let's go. go. Yep, yep. Uh, am I going to be okay? I say it's okay. That's 11. Yeah. Uh, you get up there. You steal your nerves. You take a deep breath. You begin to feel the tightness of the rope underneath of your feet, beneath your boots, and one foot in front of the other. You manage to make it across. But when you get halfway... You feel compelled to face down. You're not looking at anything, but you feel a wave of terror wash over you. And you see in your gray inkiness that is your, behind your blindfold, you feel these blobs of energy underneath of you that begin to form into these red eyes. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. So not the good kind of fear, the bad one. The bad kind of fear, yeah. Mm. Mm. Not the exciting my... at all. Yeah. All right. You said wisdom saving though? Correct. I thought about using an ability on you, and now I'm like, oh, no. Oh, uh, no. <sighs> the suspense is killing me. 11. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God. Whoa. Okay, another 11. Oh, no. <clears throat> so you feel this pull towards you and it feels familiar but not in like in I know this creature or I know this entity kind of way you know this feeling and this is a deep like primal fear that has been instilled in you from where you came from but as it begins to fade you, you once again steal your nerves and you manage to pry your head up from the chasm and you feel almost like the entity is like sorry that it wasn't able to succeed as you're able to walk across the remainder of the rope proudly, uh, nobly, deftly. You jump off, brush yourself off, and uh, it seems like you overcame mm -hmm. an incredible fear. You're not Light sure work. what, but uh, you should feel good about this. Okay. Easy. I just smile and uh, kind of walk past. Kelly, yeah, Kelly looks at you like that shouldn't have happened, but it did. And he's well, a little bit impressed. 
Walls clapping. Mm, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, yes. I know. I'm amazing. <laughs> we know you can do it. Oh God. All right, Sunder. It is your turn now. All right, come on, Sunder. All right. Come on, buddy. You got this. So <laughs> I'm gonna do an acrobatics check. Okay, this guy jumping. <laughs> 18. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Get it. Good. You have been exploring these tunnels uh, beneath Eve Branca for nigh on a month, not only on your own, but with Kelly. Um, and this is something that he's been known to do several times. Uh, this is an old trick that he pulls out uh, several. If there's a chasm that's too far to cross and too far to jump, you know, get a little rope bridge action. So uh, this is this is a, this is a Tuesday for you. Okay, don't. You'll flip so, if you want. I don't know. <laughs> like, well, I'm going to do a, do a flip. flip. We're flipping. We'll flip. Let's <laughs> fucking go. All right, you do a flip. And Kelly's like, all right, all right. This is, you know, death we're dealing with. I only did. I've been impressed with strangers after all. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. He leans over to Sunder and he says, this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, I can see. All right. It's going to be interesting. Wait, hold on. Um... Uh, I have, um, does anyone have more rope for big guy across there just to be extra? Actually, let me check. Yeah, if I you have a dungeoneering out, pack, I you do, do have rope. Have yeah. rope I as well. don't, but I'm going to check one of my narrative twists because I might have something. Narrative twist. He now I have weighs narrative two twist. Pounds. Light bridge. Light bridge. <laughs> oh my God, I <laughs> wish. Narrative uh, twist. I fly. Uh, I'd like to take out some rope as well and just reinforce what's already there. Uh, okay, I need you to make, uh, make a dex check. Okie dokie. Power jump. That's so good. Power All jump. right. Dex, dex, dex. <laughs> Let's do it. That is a 14. 14. Okay. So you take out your rope. Um, you throw it to where you estimate the other end of the rope is. And it catches on something and begins to tighten uh, successfully. But it is... It's pretty slack. Um, I will say that if you fail once, Wall, you will get one more chance. Okay. <laughs> For good measure. I appreciate it. Uh, I guess I'll I'll do an athletics check to. Okay. Yeah. To, like I'm gonna I'm gonna do this like monkey style and like. Okay. Like under hang, o- under your under arms it, yeah. and then like okay. yeah. I get you. Cool. Hand over hand. Uh. So that'll be athletics. Well, he is the monkey. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, you get another you, uh, try! You get another try! You get immediately you get, stabbed. <laughs> I'm glad I'm, you have another try. Arm under... Yeah, uh, hand over hand. Uh, 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 you get about halfway through, and you feel the fibers under your weight begin to fray and splinter, and in your hand, the rope breaks, and Kelly runs up and reaches for you, but... You're able to grab onto the slacked rope and you are hanging there by a thread. Make another athletic check. I'm going to cross my fingers. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. Okay. You are able to, it isn't because of your, it isn't because of lack of ability. It's just because you're a thick boy. Yeah. Uh, you're able to ha- ar- arm or hand under hand uh, the rest of the way to the collapsed bridge. You can pull yourself up by the planks that are falling into the chasm and, uh, you get up there, you brush yourself off, and Kelly looks at you and says, hey, You're a big guy. Yes, I have been told that many times. He's a big guy. And he looks at the rest of you guys and says, and You're all lucky. This way. I mean, and he begins to move this way. <laughs> he just leaves. <laughs> he no, says one yeah, line and he's we, dipped. We got, we got to go. Okay. He, he looks at the, the, the buzzing husks on the other side of the chasm. And we're going to switch to or switch uh, battle maps. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna move y'all over here. Oh, well, I saved your maps, life, guys. No need to think. Oh, about there's here. so many maps, no, I, guys. I, I owe you everything now. <laughs> you don't have to pay him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get let's not get it twisted here. Okay? <laughs> Consider the debt paid. All right, we will go here. All right. Oh my God! You go through this uh, this, this doorway, sick. and uh, you go into uh, what looks to be some natural caverns. Uh, there are stalagmites and tights, you know, in various shapes and forms. Um, 
some brackish water on the ground in various spots. Uh, it, it, it looks like this is a naturally formed cavern. Uh, how, you're not quite sure. Uh, but in front of you, uh, Kelly starts to lead you guys through here. Okay. And uh, you guys are free to explore as he slowly walks. Do you see anything mm. of interest that you would like? This place is safe. I mean, can I roll like perception to just get a? Oh yeah, no, of course you guys can. What the deal is? Kelly's Kelly's just yeah. showing you where to go. These, he looks, he turns to you guys and says, "Please be on your guard. These caverns shift and change. Not only that, but I'm not the only one who lives down here." Mm -hmm. You got a fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Okay. Okay. Perception. You... <laughs> That's fucking hilarious because you turn this corner right here. Yeah. And you're able to see. You don't have to run run into initiative yet. I want you guys can try and interact with this thing, but okay. um, you're able to see in front of you. I can get this working. What the hell? Oh shit! It's on the, the green. Green. It's the green shit. This like four and a half foot glob of stuff it's kind of transparent uh as it like moves around it picks up pebbles and and rocks around it slurps up some of the water into it um it looks like there's stuff floating around in it with a, with a 14 you're not quite sure exactly what is in it but um it doesn't look like it is aggressive it's just existing um and it's it's there it keeps moving around uh just kind of occupying those like 10 15 feet that it inhabits but it is blocking the path that way. Do not get too close to that, Zephriel. It looks very sticky. <laughs> oh, boy. Sticky is a great word to use for that. I've yeah, don't touch it. Uh, there are various slimes down here, and I'm not entirely sure what that one does. So be careful. Look like it's well, having the, the time of his life. Kelly doesn't know what something is. That's surprising. So what is this hollow you're taking us to? I agree. Uh, well, short version is I've been living under the city for quite some time. I've been here for years. That's not weird. And I, I'm, it is weird. Isn't he, I'm, aren't you the hero I've, of this city or something? I'm wanted by the constabulatory. They don't take too kindly to the way that I operate. And what are the ways that you operate? Uh, I can be aggressive. Uh, not to you guys, but uh, it's better if I just lead the way, I guess. Better to show, don't tell. And he looks at you and kind of squints and turns his face forward. Lester flies off of his shoulder and goes down this tunnel. Oh, boy. Okay. And he turns this corner and says, oh, Great. A big guy. Mm. <laughs> A big guy. Do you think... You think you could get through that? And he points to this, like, collection of boulders that are about maybe 10, 11 feet tall. Um, you can see some lights coming through them and, and reflecting off of the uh, gross water that's in front of it. Um, he's he's like, this is the way we need to go. Unless you want to go the long Wall's, way around. Wall's already walking towards the boulders. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Um, be my guest. Uh, make a strength check if you would like to move the boulders. Let's see. Interesting. And going here is going to be easier for us than just going back outside. Oh. This is the way outside. You'll see in a bit. A 12? Does my, does my larger frame give me any bonuses to this? or? Well, I mean, it, it affects how much you can lift. Um, but if it, you know, if this is just too heavy, it's just too heavy. Um, hmm. you, 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 you manage to get your, your gauntlets in there, your fingers into some of the cracks, and... <laughs> These boulders were like once part of the masonry and they are just stuck fast in there. And if you can't do it, someone else can try. Uh, I'm good. 
is where that skeleton shot me. It's still a little sore. Hey, Zeph. Uh, or not Zeph. Um, Phoenix, can you make a perception check? Sure. I will take a quick little gander. Perception. I'm somewhat good at that. I could you be. You see the bubbling mass has gotten much closer to you guys. Hey, uh, so do, do these slime things, uh, I'm going to take a few steps back. <laughs> uh, you know, are they hostile at all, or... If you get in their way. Well, we might end up being in their way in a few seconds, it seems. I mean, DM, would I... Close to you guys. Yeah. Would I know anything about slimes in my travels? Uh, I'm, yeah, good, good on you for asking. Um, you would know that they are not necessarily harmless. Uh, if as long as you don't get in their way and obstruct their path, they should just go about their business. Um, these, so let me, let me, let me check my stat sheet really quick and see if I can get you some more information. Yeah, and if you want to move to make a check at all, I'm happy to do that too. What if we, uh, you know, ask it to move the boulders? You know, it seems to be having a good time eating some rocks. I might have an idea, but give me a moment to think. <laughs> um, you would know that, uh, the innards of these things are highly caustic. Um, if you are to touch it and the, 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 like the outside is fairly inert, but if you pass through that membrane, uh, it is painful. Um, it dissolves like steel, even, um, wood almost instantly and flesh is like, it, it enters water. It's, it's crazy. Um, you have seen these things in action before and it's, it's not pretty, but as long as you don't get in its way, it won't attack you. I have an idea. Cool. Um, everybody move aside. Uh, I'm gonna try to see what its path is, like, try to predict its path, and... Okay. Make an intelligence check. Yeah, to see kind of where it's going. Let's, let's do this. Okay. 19. 19. Uh, it looks like he's heading towards, like, this area. Like, I mean, it, it, he's patrolling. It, it looks like he has, like... You can see in the ground even areas that he has trodden and some of this like water has kind of absorbed the slime a little bit. So it's a little a little caustic to the touch, but uh, nothing that'll hurt you guys. Uh, this is a path that it's traveled before. Uh, it's got a rut in the ground of, of acid slime-ness. And again, acid slime -ness. if you move out of the way, it doesn't look like it'll attack you. And Argentum, I, I assume you relayed this information. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you see these pathings on the ground here, yes? Move aside mm. from them. It's taking okay. its familiar path. So if you move aside, it probably won't hurt you. Just don't touch it. And perhaps it can move the boulders or take that path for us. So just okay. move aside. Yeah, and Wall's gonna like push <laughs> along with him as well. Mm -hmm. It, oh, are you gonna move? Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, Thank God. Move. Kelly's move, out, Kelly. out of the way too. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Kelly. Um, it gets very close to you guys. Like very close to you guys um it doesn't seem to like acknowledge your presence as long as you don't touch it um it bubbles and plorts around as it gets over here it picks up rocks and pebbles and uh, as it touches this, this this brackish water in front of it it sizzles and hisses and uh goes toward the rocks and sits on top of them for a little bit as <laughs> they begin to sizzle and hiss underneath of him uh it doesn't look like it's happening very quickly uh but it's it dissolving these rocks i said we took a short rest let's just sit down here and just chill <laughs> Watch I, think, the show. I think catching our breath should be if helpful. you'd like to we can take a short rest i was gonna that? say is there is that a way in consensus? or oh uh, yeah there's the long way around is it worth it I mean, I don't he looks over at the slime that's like, <laughs> we could just take a rest. Or if it's you guys are in a hurry. I don't want to in a hurry. Sunder, it's up to you. I think, personally, I think we should take a rest. After the fight that we just had, yeah, no, some of us are dealing with soreness, some of us are you know, trying to deal with the trauma of whatever that was. 
So I think taking sure. a short rest should work. But Every now and again, you just hear a like, <laughs> Sounds like someone's cooking pasta. <laughs> it does. It does sound like somebody's cooking pasta. pasta. That's what pasta sounds like to you? Good really pasta. good cheesy, cheesy that's me pasta. After a that's like. Okay. That's if that's thinking. the case, we will we will take a short rest here. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds you good. You guys are going to be here for about an hour while this thing slowly starts to dissolve. It's visible, the progress it's making. It's not like it's going to take forever. Uh, but you guys do just kind of need to wait there <laughs> while it does its thing. Um, and it's consuming this rock. It's not like going away. The slime itself is changing color. It's going from like a green to like this ruddy, like clay brown. That's mm -hmm. so cool. Make sure you guys take take your rest, like do your like HP and things like that. Yeah. Um, and I will let you guys if you would like to talk to your uh, talk to your party members. Um, uh, Kelly kind of sits down on the ground and. Uh, leans against this post here where Lester f flies back from around that corner and squawks and Kelly takes a bite of a ration nods at the bird and says okay okay oh, I get my sp I'm a let's go guys I love this short class. rest baby this all right if if nobody would like to do anything or talk to so, anybody what, what can I what? sorry I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna cast divine sense again not cast. I'm just gonna use it uh, just to see, check if Kelly here is fiendish celestial undead, or if there's a hollow spell nearby or anything like that. <laughs> okay, you don't mm -hmm. feel anything coming from Kelly. You do feel a divine presence. Uh, one would say some sort of celestial presence. Uh, mm. in the like, I guess what's the south southwesterly direction. Uh, it's fairly dull, but it's large. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. <sighs> they have a dungeon down here. Uh, Kelly, what direction is the way out of this underground area? He points, he points to the boulders. As he like chews through a ration. <laughs> no reaction. Gotta wait. Can't see him. <laughs> Which way? He doesn't know. He doesn't know you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you say the direction that our friend here can't see? Oh, uh, northwest, I guess. Uh, oh great. <laughs> uh, so we'll be going that way then. Yeah. For now. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um. Wall's slime. Gonna, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Wall's going to gingerly go up to Argentum again, getting a bit of deja vu. Uh, but this time, he'll, he'll, he'll approach them and say, eh, One thing I heard during uh, the ceremony, you are a storyteller. Is that what it is? Um, yes, I... Uh... I'm known for my writing uh, mystery novels. Yo, oh, but, but, like, his demeanor completely changes, and you can tell he's got a big smile under his helmet. He's like, oh, 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 I love storytelling. It is, oh, it is wonderful. It is so, uh, have you, uh, oh, I know of uh, many different stories, but my favorite is the Ballad of uh, Filigree. Oh, but I also like the Tale of the Tempest as well. Oh, and, oh, and the Tale of Orska the Mighty. It is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what stories do you do you tell? I, I, I do. You, do you know of any of Battle of Conquest or of any kind of thing like that? I know quite a few. Um, and they will. Uh, they'll think for a moment um, and they'll sort of look like they might be talking to themselves <laughs> they're going to think to their uh, their little oh, brain friend which one would you okay. should we tell oh. let's see uh, spores and swords is quite good we could do spores and swords. You do I like do love that. that one. We own a location. It's prime for it as well. You know, you're right. Well, my dear Wool, this one is called The Story of Spores and Swords. Story of Spores and Swords. 
There was once a young druid woman from the High Forest, and she traveled in search of her missing father, and with the goal to rebalance nature. Along the way, she found herself at what seemed to be a temple. But when she touched the wall, it exploded. <laughs> she was thrown back in the temple itself. And from the wall, came a woman of bright red hair and a strong physique. Oh. The two became fast friends. They began to travel the world together along the Sword Coast, taking down cults. And they met many friends along the way. And eventually, they learned that the red-haired woman was dead. She was killed in battle. And so they continued their travels to try to find a way to resurrect her. They met a djinn. And she took something, a memory from the red-haired woman. The memory of her mother. The last memory she had of her. But, in exchange, she revived the red-haired woman, who was revealed to be an Asima of great power and strength. Ooh. She and her young druid friend, who was also an Asima, who had been sent to rebalance nature, the two eventually fell in love. And they returned to the High Forest to discover the red-haired woman's histories. And so, they began to travel once more. And where they are today, no one knows. But, perhaps we'll find out next time. Uh, like, while well, just, like, nodding, like, very th thoughtfully, like, like a, like a, like a wine taster, you know, having a, having Simple a taste of moment. a nice Chardonnay, yeah. and he's like, mm, That's awesome. This is cool. I like you and I. We must talk a lot more about many stories. Was uh, was anybody else listening to that? I was. I, I was forced okay, to you listen were? to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, everybody that was listening to it gets a point of inspiration. That was great. Thank you so hey. much for that little story there. That was oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Kelly leans forward and looks at you and says, so "You're Argentum Rillis." I am. Yes. Spores and Swords is one of my favorites. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Why are you in town? Um, I was summoned for my uh, expertise. He bites into his bread. Magically, or like through a mystery or something. A little bit of both. Hmm. He swallows. Cool. And we'll have a lot to talk about for sure. Oh, <laughs> I fuck! Suppose. And you go, and you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Most our uh, done. our slime friend is on the move once more. I'm glad that worked. I wasn't sure it would. Yeah, well, lucky us, looks I at you. Me too. Uh, he I walks what over it this feels way. Like to be in it. I think not be good. I don't um, think you want to try it. It's rather caustic, and you will most likely dissolve. No, from experience. <laughs> I've watched it happen. Actually, yeah, me too. I watched it happen the past hour. <laughs> <laughs> You're not uh, curious how it feels to have your skin sizzled off. As you were resting, <laughs> uh, Kelly was as well, but uh, he had sent Lester off before the rest. Um, the bird comes careening down this hallway here, this fairly dimly lit hallway, <laughs> and lands on uh, Kelly's shoulder and it, it, wide eyed, the beak starts clacking. He starts puffing his wings out and he says, uh, <sighs> down there to the left, I have to go. All right. And he Wait, hold on. What about us? Down there to the left. You'll find your way. There's only one way. And he books it. Okay, down to the left we go. All yeah, I guess right. we'll also take that path. 
All right. And he well, is. Let me make sure he's right. not on the fucking. Cool. All right. Cool. So yeah, you uh, you find yourself in this hallway uh, that looks like it was part of an old uh, an old building uh, that's kind of been filled in with rock over you know decades of earthquakes and uh, landfalls and you know uh, waves breaking against uh, the the shore and everything. This is ancient. Uh, this thing looks probably. I mean, 100, 200 years old. It's so old, you can't quite tell. Everything is kind of dissolved um, and uh, melted in to uh, the ground. Uh, there's stone remnants. Uh, there are a few facades on the walls and things, but um, ultimately this place is yours to explore um, should you choose to uh, until you find the way out. All right. What, what do you think? We should look around or go down to the left like... Uh, Kelly had said. Well, we lost our guide, and uh, it would probably be best to listen to what he said. I mean, he knows this place like the back of his hand, so if he's telling us where we need to go, I feel like we should listen. I, he I seemed suppose. rather hurried, and as much as I'd like to explore, this place is fascinating. You may be right. I was just thinking, you know, once we get back out there, we just wait until dinner and then fuck off. That's kind of boring, no? Yes, this is a time for adventure, is it not? <laughs> it is like a story, yes? The big guy gets me. Dean, we still have the, uh, <laughs> would, are we responsible for being at that, like, final, um, celebration for the Baron? Uh, you, you don't necessarily have to. Um, a lot of your job is already done. Uh, this is just, if you want to curry favor with the government, sure. If you want to, you know, see what the information is there, that's fine. It's all up to you. It, you're not going to get in trouble for it. Um, it seems like you've just kind of been left to your own devices. And after you collected the things in your will, uh, there are a few of you guys who have like some obligations here, but uh, they're not necessarily time sensitive. Well, I for one would like to get back and collect whatever rewards we were promised before some thief comes along and raids those storage containers, but also I remember there was chanting in a bissel not uh, two hours ago. As Can long as we here? don't go southwest, uh, I will follow you all. Wait, what's wrong with being southwest? I sense scary divine energy. That's the only way I can explain it. Wait, hold on. Don't divine and energy usually go along with, like, you know, anti-scary? Not always. You said you weren't religious, right? No. What I... would you know? <laughs> damn. <laughs> Hot damn. Trust me, right. we want to avoid Southwest. Okay, who is right. who is leading the party? Lead the way, Wall. <laughs> uh, I suppose I will lead, but uh, I need a, a direction. I guess uh, we go down this path over here. Make a perception check for me. It's all the same to me. Perception check is always super fun. I believe in you. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, this is a this is a labyrinth of you know. Uh, man-made structures uh but in front of you there are several there's four bodies that look like they have been they they they, they all died in a kerfluffle they all died in some sort of conflict with each other uh there are two heavily armored corpses uh skeletons that have been kind of desiccated um and there are two like more thin enrobed corpses uh in front of you um one of them has like one of the bigger guys has like half plate on the other one has full plate on uh but it looks like they were uh what one party was chasing the other the 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 heavily armored party was chasing the lightly armored party and they've just kind of uh been dead here for for centuries that's what you see in this big long hallway it looks like this this whole hallway here is kind of the the splash zone as it were there's a body here there's a body here uh there's a body here and then there's one at your feet we smell dead people. There, I... there is dead people. Uh huh. Um. Wait, down the left, like this way, or the other left? There's left, this left. way. 
Well, I mean, no, the, the direction that we're going in. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can I like, can I, in, like, investigate the bodies yeah. to see how they died? Of course, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. What would I roll for that? An investigation check. Oh, fuck wow. Yeah. Cool. Not bad. Fuck um, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like uh, they were killed running. These people who who died initially were killed running. Um, and at the same time, they seem to have killed each other. Uh, the one that is heavily armored looks like it has a dagger in its throat. And uh, the other one that is in half plate uh, looks like it has an arrow through its throat. You also managed to find five uh, arrows on the body that has a bow, which is one of the uh, uh, one of the lighter armored bodies. And uh, these armors are, I mean, these uh, these arrows, you would know as somebody who is, you know, a, a scholar of combat, uh, these are drow arrows. Um, and uh, they, are, they are magical in nature. Uh, when you shoot somebody with a drow arrow, the next turn they are affected by the sleep spell. Hmm. You also find 15 gold. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just like on one of the corpses. It's stamped in a, in a in a currency that no longer exists, but they're still legal tender. It's gold. Okay. 15 gold, I'll take it. Yeah. Anybody else mm. want to investigate any of these mm. or any of the rooms that are around? Yeah, mm. Wall's going to relay everything that he, he gathered to the rest of the party. <laughs> no, I, I will just uh, kind of push along that we continue moving down the hall. Okay. Have I have uh, I been here before? Have you been here before? No. Do I, you haven't yeah, been do to this particular. My... You haven't been oh. here before. Okay. Um. Zeph, as you go down this hallway, you have to step over these bodies, and you get about halfway before a wave hits you again. Um. God, you were just in the wrong spot. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. What the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> My goodness. Uh, this is what happens when you believe in God, I guess. <laughs> oh My goodness. Uh, 19. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, uh, you feel a presence coming from the uh, lighter armored corpses behind you. It makes the hair on the back of your neck stand mm -hmm. up. Um, you kind of get a chill down your spine and you uh, you hear in your head verses from a religious text that you know quite well. And it says uh, in, your, in your head, in the shadows of our sanctum, grant us the strength of the obsidian heart. It just keeps going unbreakable and sharp and the cunning of the deep sea serpent keeps going and it's coming from one of those bodies i'll immediately they start like uh, in the dark inspecting them like get down on my like just crouch down and stuff are they alive okay. or what's going no. on i'll find the source i'm going to find the source okay uh make an investigation check okay investigation investigation this guy touches some dead people. <laughs> and what if it? <laughs> he doesn't care. That's crazy. Solid. Okay, cool. No, 16. Yeah, you you, oh, you, you actually get it. I'm game actually, game. I'm, I'm super excited. You get it. Um, what is that noise? You hear it. And as you get closer to the body, it gets louder in your head. May our sacrifices in the dark weaver bestow us upon the precision of the spot. You open up one of the bags that is on one of the bodies and inside it, uh, you can feel with your hand this like really taut leather uh, and you pull it out and you know these religious books of the Seldarin which Seldarin. is a which is a, a group that you're quite familiar with uh, in fact you feel their mark emblazoned on it it's a it's a it's a sword facing down uh, in in robed in web and you open it up and you're able to feel, as you hear these verses, you're able to feel where they're coming from and you, you get the text of exactly what these verses are saying. They are, it's almost like a, you know, a religious uh, biblical verse. It's and an I will, audio I will, book. It's basically, yeah, it's, it feels like an audio book, I guess. Um, and <laughs> I will be, I will DM you the verses, the like actual text um, that is in the book. As you hear it in your head, 
It's just, it, and it keeps going over and over and over and over again. Audio jungle. <laughs> Audio jungle. <laughs> Real trap shit. AudioJungle.com. <laughs> Um, and yeah, this is a fairly thick book. Uh, they, there's a lot of pictures and, and imagery in it, um, and there's a lot of verses. But as you f as you like flip through it, the voices in your head get louder as you get to these specific verses, and you f you flip away, and the voice starts to fade. But you flip, keep flipping through the book, and the verses get louder in your head. Um, it seems this this book is calling to you in some way. Okay, unpack it. Wait, okay. um, is there any other... Okay. If I, under my breath, quiet enough um, so that it's not, like, make out a bull, okay. because I kind of, like, pick it up and then start walking a little bit further, can I kind of read the last one to myself to bestow upon us the precision of the spider? Yeah. You read that to yourself very quietly. Uh, you make a stealth check. Finding my way around uh, Rule 20, sorry. Good, I always close Next my uh, sheet. Okay, so. I always close my eyes. What is it? What is it? 18. Wow, wow. okay. okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. I'm God. He says, uh, Zeph says, I'm going to go. And he just <sighs> disappears into the, uh, down, down the hallway. As you see him crouch in front of a body and stuff like that. But he stands back up and then walks down the hallway. You don't hear any of this. Zef, you do start to speak to yourself. Um, would you like to say that verse out loud? So upon us the precision of the spider, oh, ve how do you say that, Vahari? Veyron. Oh, Veyron, master of the silent hunt, that our actions may be swift and our strategies inscrutable in your honor. Guile us in your mask of many faces. You say that, and you hear in your head, ah, and the voice is quiet. What's this guy mumbling about? Zevriel, what are you doing? Did you find something? Just a Bible. Are we going? Uh, yes, I, I, I think we are. I suppose so. Before we go, I would like to check some things out, if that's all right. I'd sure be my guest. Yeah, I do not see what the hard. problem is. Argentum is gonna make their way to this room here. Okay. Uh, there are a pair of, uh, like, oaken doors that are bound in iron. Uh, the wood has decayed to such a state where you can still see through it. Like, there's holes and gaps in the door, and uh, what's beyond what you can see without opening the door is uh, it just looks like, you know, an old study. It's dark. Uh, it's covered in cobwebs, not necessarily spider webs, but cobwebs. Um, and uh, it looks like this hasn't been touched in a while. Do you enter? Yeah, absolutely okay. they do. <laughs> the oak door starts to open. And then when it gets like three quarters of the way open, you hear <laughs> it cracks off the hinges and falls to the floor in front of you. Um, but yeah, this place looks old and decrepit. Um, when you walk in, uh, in the back corner, there is a bed that is kind of decayed to such a point uh, that it has become one with the floor. Uh, the uh, blankets and pillows have all just become mush in it. Uh, the, the wood desk over to the other side, also absolutely disgusting. Uh, it is like covered in dust. Um, there's discarded... Uh, hold on, let me jump. I gotta go to the. Right I can't believe you're like here. doxing what my room looks like right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually insane. Whoa. Um, uh, there is a wooden chest at the foot of the bed that is equally derelict, and you could probably see what's in it without opening it. Um, there is uh, notes and paper lying about uh, on the desk. There looks like there was a, a letter. Um, there's some sort of uh, larger. Like ledger there that has writing in it but the well and the ink pen were left in a hurry and they are dried and, and shriveled up there's there's not a whole lot of action has happened here it just looks like somebody left interesting uh 
Can I make out anything on that ledger, or is it just crumbled to time? Uh, make an investigation check. Yeah, let's do it. We rolling. You got There's it. all sorts of shit in here. Lots of God. God. Little yeah, yeah, there is yeah. all sorts of shit in here. What do you want to investigate first? Um, see if I can make out anything on the ledger that was left, because I'm always okay. looking for that written word, baby. Sure. Okay. Uh, with an 18, you very delicately uh, curse your finger or uh, course your finger over these words that have been left for decades, and uh, it looks like this is a ledger. And there is very there is a lot of detail here. This looks like this is a ledger for um, people being imported for manual labor. Uh, a couple decades ago, there are prices next to some of these people. Um, it seems like they've been uh, treated like commodities. Uh, there's a dwarf who is worth 500 gold. Um, it says he is exceptional in strength and endurance and ideal for heavy lifting and construction. Uh, there's an orc that has a high tested pain tolerance. Uh, he uh, has minimal downtime if he gets injured. Um, and there are three drow that are listed as light drow. One of them says there's an, inf an affinity for magic, but capable of minor enchantments to improve efficiency. These are just like little uh, notes next to the person. Um, the second one is a light draw, but there is no real description. They're both worth about 200 gold, but the third one is worth 800 gold. Um, and it says bladed lady matron next to it. Natural agility, navigates challenging terrain with ease, literate, and possesses innate leadership ability. Literate. <laughs> they can read. Don't know that feel, bro. <laughs> Neither do I. Respect. Can't imagine life without it. Um, um, that is they... all you see on the desk. Okay. They are going to uh, go flip to a blank page in their journal, and they're going to write down everything that's on the ledger, just so that they don't touch this, so that it doesn't crumble, because it looks will... delicate as hell. Yeah, it is It is quite delicate. Um, I will DM you exactly what it says. Perf, preach. Um, perf, preach. Perf, preach, fam. Uh, yeah. Yeah, bro. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, anybody else? What do you guys? What do you guys want to do? While Argentum is uh, uh, rummaging through this, uh, what looks to be some sort of like foreman quarters. Um, mm -hmm. There are again oh, these four bodies in the in the hallway. Uh, some of them haven't been touched for quite some time, but it looks like there's stuff on them. Wall's gonna like position himself in like this spot, just so he has like full view yeah, yeah. of everybody in the party at all times. Cool. Okay. Cool. Wall. Yeah. Wild. I'm just looking down the hallway. Just Wait, to make sure no one jumps out. Yeah, I, I am keeping watch. Do not be. Do not worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'll just. I'll just. I'll just chill around. Okay. Right. Cool. I think. I think I'm gonna walk over to Zeph as we really discussed the uh, contract that I am <laughs> under now. Ah. Okay. Great. All right. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been meaning to ask as we've been traveling together for a few hours now. What exactly is this contract that I am bound to? And what am I making? You signed the contract and you didn't read it? N well, not really. It sounds no. like a personal problem. I'm kidding. Truly. Um... <laughs> well, well, first tell me your skills. What are you good at? Well, personally, I'm pretty good at getting information. I, as you saw during the fight with the giant spider, I can be fairly aggressive with my bow staff. Ah, uh, I, I think those are some of the best outlooks that I've got right now that I can describe without going into major detail. And you're quite good at stealing, right? What was that thing with the pearl and the creature that I heard? Oh, that. Well, that has some uses that we'll explain. I'll explain that later. But 
Yeah, I can I can manage to get my hands on things if need be. Well, that all sounds good. Then you know what? We'll I'll describe the payment later as well. Then. Um, <laughs> Okay. Uh, but for now, just do what you do best, uh, do well, and make sure that I don't stumble into a pile of goo. And that's the job, for now. Once we're out of here, if you need to go your separate ways, then consider it done. I think we can manage that. And he will, he will also join Wall in just keeping watch <laughs> and just standing around. <laughs> Are we all ready to continue down the hallway? Yeah, are we good in there, our gentleman? What did I you roll for your perception check, uh, wall? Uh, it was a 16. Okay, cool. 16. Just making sure. Our will, will reluctantly leave the room. Uh, the bodies that are on the ground, do they perhaps yeah. match the description of some of the people on the ledger that they read? Uh, cross-referencing cross the ledger with uh, your notes and then, you know, the, the appearance of this. Yes, it does seem like two of them, at least, uh, were... It seems like they are, are, are the people that the ledger is talking about. It looks like this place processes a lot of people, but um, this seems fairly recent, you know, relative to the uh, <laughs> the age of the place. Well, from what I can surmise about this and ledger that I found in there, um, I believe this place might have been owned by slavers of some kind. They had lists of people with prices and what they were good at. And some of these bodies, and they'll kind of just jut their chin towards the bodies. They match some of the descriptions, though. They're definitely not as old as the rest of this place. Good to know. Uh, I'll just walk up to the closest one and shoot it in the face. <laughs> shoot it in the face? Mm -hmm. It's... <sighs> okay. Yeah, make an attack. Respect I mean, it's gonna hit. But just for shits and giggles. Imagine if it misses. It's kind of like a fuck 13. you, I'm glad you're dead thing. You no, shoot, I, okay. You always gotta double tap, guys. You shoot this thing in the head. You shoot this, this, this desiccated drow woman in the head. <laughs> like white spatters across the, the, the hallway. Uh, there is a hole in not only this woman's head, but through into the ground about like six inches. But you jolted her body in such a way uh, that unsheathed the blade that was on her uh, nice. just enough to like catch the glint. And uh, the blade has been sheathed for so long, it's still a little bit shiny. Uh, this looks like some sort of like uh, intricate longsword. Okay. Mm. He's got some good gear on him too. Doesn't seem oh, to waking I suppose up. we should check. I'm glad we double tapped the corpses, guys. <laughs> you know, from... I believe they were yeah. slain. I, it's so disrespectful. Well, either way, we did you look across the pit? There were, you know, other skeleton dudes who attacked us. Imagine we walk down this hallway, guys wake up down the hallway, guys here wake up, and then we're sandwiched in between like an ice cream sandwich. Oh, I, for some reason, I thought you said the people on the ground dead were the slavers. No, I totally they were misinterpreted the slaves themselves. Oh, I'll be I honest. Believe. They're both. They're both. It's both oh, the slavers both? and the, the, the enslaved. Correct. Yeah. Again, two oh. of them are more heavily armored than the other ones. Uh, it looks like they were killed getting as they were running away. Um, and they got mm. one final shot off and everybody just kind of traded lives. So I popped the head of a slaver. Don't worry, guys. I'm a good guy. You actually popped the head of a slave. Shit, that I'm a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, the two I'm closer, a bad man. The two closer to the rest of you are the slaves, and the ones closer to the uh, other side are the slavers that have been running after them. <laughs> I don't know how direction works. I'm you, just gonna, uh, still I'm feeling gonna good off. about yourself? Uh, well, you know, if they never come alive, I'll feel better. Why they are they giving come alive? you. They are dead. 
They are giving you the most, like, parent over the glasses, raised oh eyebrow God. of, really? I'm gonna do like the what is like the the you know the the stuffed ant, the furry guy who like gives the side eye and then like you know his head his like mouth is like sideways and he just side eyes our gentleman and then just <laughs> looks away. It's the fucking wow. puppet. It's, the it's the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Wall, uh. You're having a good time. Uh, you're keeping a good lookout. Uh, you just won a battle. Uh, you, you had you, you heard a f- tremendous story. Uh, today's pretty good, um, but you feel this weird creep, like almost acidic creep in the pit of your stomach that goes up your spine and pulls out your scalp, almost like there's a there's a there's a fish hook pulling your 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 spine straight. And you stand up, make a wisdom saving throw. Hmm. This is it's not good, guys. Big guy's not good at... Actually, no, he's decently good at wisdom. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Yeah, no, um, you're not. Uh, <laughs> uh, not right now. Not today. Not, not right now, you Not Lord. today. Um, uh, you hear in your head, um, as everybody is having a conversation, the world kind of dulls and becomes a vacuum, and you hear from the ground, dance with me. And this long sword starts to slowly pull itself from the sheath. Dance with me. You feel compelled to grab it. Grab the long... I feel compelled to grab the longsword? Yep. Okay. Uh, can I resist? Or is that... Was <laughs> that you failed your wisdom saving that throw. Was <laughs> you have failed the resistant. I will... then need to grab this real quick. And I grab the sword. You do so. And as it unsheathes, your head fills with an ecstasy. You hold it in front of you, and you can see your eye mirrored in its silvered visage. And on this long sword is emblazoned, intricately drawn almost, a naked woman dancing wistfully with her eyes closed enrobed in her silver hair and she almost turns to you and say says dance with the lady of the blades you keep it i will keep this it is the rule it is real i know it is uh, this is proof oh okay yeah, it's this is this, this strikes everybody as a little weird. Um, and while you failed your wisdom saving throw, so there was a little bit of that that is that is like you know compulsion, this this magic that is that is drawing you to this blade. But once that wonder starts to fade, you get smacked with the realization that you know exactly who was on that blade. Um, on that blade, it you know what? Come with me to the whisper room. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Grab over here. All right, goodbye, guys. So, wall found porn. Dude, Love that. wall found sword porn. You found sword so, sworn. 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 Sworn Ooh. porn. That's crazy. I'm not you know happy what? about this. Actually, uh, not uh. the weirdest thing wall has done. It's like no, you know what? No. Get it, buddy. He's like, he's like I, I must take it. I'm like, all right. Yeah, go, I must go say, for sure, it, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. go for it, yeah. man. Oh shit, raiders! Come in, raiders. raiders. Also, the other raiders who came in. Good to see everybody. Yeah, I don't know if in. anyone from my homies over at something witty is still here, but what's up, BBs? I love you. What? Cool people. Yeah, phenomenal. those are some of my Fine. some of my bestie booze. Wow, your oh, bestie hell booze. Hell yeah. yeah. So we're not your besties. I'm <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Cry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> are you guys wanting to check every room when they come back? <laughs> fuck no. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm happy with what I, I got, but I like, am. I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little exploration goblin, but if y'all don't want to explore and we want to get the book out of here, let's do it. Well, I was avoiding that southwest celestial ping, but now I feel like we should go towards it. Uh, I agree, guys. Just normal men. Just innocent men. 
<laughs> I didn't turn that off before this thing. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, yeah. So that happened. Um, yep. Found sword porn. Sword. sword. <laughs> yeah. Can I like sheath the sword back again, but still keep it with me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you can unbuckle the sheath that's on the corpse and take that with you if you want. This is mine now. Sick. You do so, and it uh, sees it with a very satisfying uh, click, um, and it just feels like you, you just feel this warmth on your hip as you hold it. <laughs> it is good day today. <laughs> yeah. I think Sunder's going to bump walls slightly with his elbow. It's like, look at that big guy. After all the hard work you did, you got your reward. Yes, I am being rewarded in more ways than one might anticipate. Jerk <laughs> 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 off when he gets porn, home. Sword porn. Jerk <laughs> off when he gets home. That's crazy. Hand check. Go off hand it. check. <laughs> hand check. <laughs> hand check. <laughs> Got one hand in his pants already. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, he's, he's gonna like move on like briskly now. Sunder, something catches your eye as you as you all like step over these bodies that are occupying Ooh. a majority of this hallway. Um, on one of the heavily armored uh, corpses, uh, there yeah. is a bandolier of like like almost like kunai, but not. They're, they look like darts, like throwing darts. Um, and Ooh. as a monk, you know that kind of that kind of tickles your fancy. Hmm. This shit. I'd, I'd like to take them then, if that's the case. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, you slowly start to uh, peel these from the corpse, and as you touch them, uh, they feel a little hot. They feel a little warm to the touch, and uh, you're not quite sure exactly what, how magic these are or what they do, but uh, you have four, uh, four darts that any, are. Any, uh, you know, any oh, naked man. ladies in your darts? Oh, Doesn't look like there's any naked ladies on him, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> these will come in handy eventually. I think he's just gonna. Okay. I mean, if you when guys like to on, you can. Yeah. But... When wall brushes pass to keep moving on, uh, I want to keep up with his pace. I'm assuming he's brushing past to go in front of everyone. Sure. Yeah, he, he's like unusually like active. Okay, I, I'd like to stay close and, and whisper to you. Okay. Change of plans, Wall. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Can you lead us southwest? To the southwest, so uh, there is uh, a path leading to the left from here. Is that the direction? Maybe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, if I remember where the divine sense came from, then yeah. Yeah, it's down southwest. Uh, it, at this junction, you imagine it would be left. Yeah, lead us there. Yeah, so so Wall's gonna keep going and like get to this corner and like signal to the others to go down this hallway. Okay. Um, I I, I kind of hate that I have to say this, but those of you who can read, um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> not me. Uh, baby. There are two signs, uh, one of which yeah. says Ironworks and it's pointing down this hallway, and the other one says Library. Uh, and it is pointing down this this hallway as well. We're gonna lose Argentum here. Oh yep. no, Argentum's gone. Long gone. Long... Oh my uh... god. Wait, hold on. I thought we were going to the other way. Northwest yes. was it? He just said up the path and then left. Was it? Then we will go left again. It is always left. Though. I don't believe. But if there is a library down there, we should. Probably check it out. There might be some more. <laughs> what use does a library have for me? I didn't say it was for you. I said it was for information. <laughs> if we're going to go, if we're going to go your way, Zephyrael, then I would at least like to make a pit stop. I mean, they're right. If you think about it, we are going into potentially. A dangerous territory. You All seem right. so keen. <laughs> you no, da, 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 to you too. <laughs> well, it this is the way out, isn't it? I it don't must believe be. so. it's. Would I remember that this is totes not the way out, DM? Can you prove well, it? 
Okay, uh, so <laughs> relatively speaking, Kelly said that you would be traveling in a northwesterly direction. However, sure. Sunder would know all of this stuff loops in on itself, so it's mm -hmm. just a matter of time before you get to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, da, 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 da. anyway. Fine, you can read your books, but be quick, please. Oh. Uh, if it's a library, mm. I don't think there's going to be anything quick about it. You take them to go? I the will restaurant? try. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you were so keen to avoid going that way before. Why the sudden change of heart? Was I? Yeah, I remember you, you saying were you didn't like quite it. Quite literally shaking in your boots. Something about uh, how there's a bad guy over here and uh, that I wouldn't know anything about it because uh, I'm not religious, you know. Not, not to be salty about it, but just... Just, just a little bit. I, I still think there is a bad guy this way. But one that I would like to meet. You want to meet the Why? bad guy? <sighs> <laughs> you guys are in control of the story right now. Phantom <laughs> <laughs> has clearly planted their feet. They're not moving. Their arms are crossed and they're staring down Zephrael. They've moved in front of them so they can't go anywhere and they have to talk to them. Okay. Well, I, mm. I guess you answer or we're, you know, not Why? going anywhere. The wall's just looking at Zephrael like, like expectantly. <laughs> yeah, I hear that it all goes quiet. Fine, fine. The dead people were followers of Seladrin. Seldarine. Who cares what her, mm -hmm. how you fucking pronounce it? Seldarine is Loth's sister. Ooh. And you're the and you're that you're that guy. So they follow your guy's sister. Yes, and they don't like each other, or they didn't. And, and then you're, you're gonna meet that guy that they don't like. You would know, uh, Zef. Seladrin is associated with uh Loth's sister the Saladrin themselves are kind of like a like a paramilitary group um they're a you know a collection of people um that are associated with Loth and the 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 pantheon of Loth um but it's kind of like a cell sword situation where they how, who, whichever god curries the most favor, they're going to work for them, um, and they're almost like a cult. Yeah, I feel that. Um, do you... Uh, so... So, are, so, sorry, are they... Would they be in conflict with the uh, church I come from? Uh, Least-wise? I, yes, they, it, it's, it's, yes, they would. It would be like, uh, you know, some sort of like, it would be insurgents, right? They would be uh, this group that is actively fighting to preserve the old ways. And if I think about the chants that we heard earlier before getting attacked by the spider, would it yes. sound potentially connected in a alarming way? Oh yeah, it, it seems like this is a this is a hive of, of activity for them. It doesn't matter really how old this building was. It just looks like this building has been used, uh, you know, throughout the ages. It's 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 just a you know a, a, a rest stop of sorts. You know. Could I get the sense that they're trying to do something pretty big with that uh, uh, big celestial ping and stuff? Not not particularly. The celestial ping that you felt was very dull. Um, it okay. it almost felt as though it was decayed. You know. Over over decades and decades and decades, it looks it looked derelict, um, but uh, it was still there, and it definitely you know is a, there's a presence there. Hmm. Okay, would it satisfy you that I am just curious, curious now to know what these people who are following this uh, religion, so closely related to mine, are doing? with their chants and their cultish behavior. And below the city, this could be a big problem for our new friend taking the late Baron's place. You know, that is about enough for me. Curiosity <laughs> has driven me to do more. So, and being that it 
I do agree it could be a problem for our new friend. So, we can follow your whim. And just allow me to take a little look amongst the books. There might be some information. Especially if the cults of this cult or religion, if they're active, as you believe, there could be traces. No stone left unturned. Sure, let's pit stop. But just to get one thing clear with everyone, I have no fear of danger. Okay. I doubt that. <laughs> I believe you. Wow. <laughs> Hurry up! Certainly. <laughs> Just to walk away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, wall to your left. There's this you know, large oaken door. Same. Uh, same with you, Phoenix. There's large oaken doors that may, uh, may lead into a room. Um, and then to your right, as you're walking down the hallway, there's another short, shorter hallway. Uh, it looks like this might be the entrance to the library. Okay. Uh, as I'm passing this door, can I just like push it open just to take a peek inside? Err. Uh, okay. Um, make a make a perception check. Me when I perceive. Sixteen. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, on the inside, it is fairly dark. Uh, but as you open the door, some light manages to spill in, and uh, you do see a few things. Uh, you see two skeletons. Uh, a larger one and then a, a shorter one, and they have been chained to the wall, uh, desiccated, dried up, covered in like uh, cobwebs, um, mm -hmm. and they look like they've been, yeah, they, they've been webbed up. Um, they're not like the uh, the humanoid cocoons that you saw earlier, but it looks like that they have been webbed up. I just knocked over my water. Hold on a second. Oh no! It oh, spilled no. all over his keyboard. Oh. Now he's gonna okay, die. Okay, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay, I got it. 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 Okay. Whew, okay. okay. I, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Um, and uh, it, it looks like that there are some crates of supplies in here. Uh, there's you know there's a few chests. As you open the door, some rats skitter away into the into the darkness. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what you see immediately. Huh. Empty room. Couple chests back here. Hmm. Want to check them out? They might be worth looking. Sure. I think yeah. Will go with, with I'll go inside. Phoenix here. Just get in with the books. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Would you like to check out these books? Yeah. Just see if there is any anything that catches my eye while I'm just All right. perusing. Make another uh, investigation check. That's a natural yeah. one, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Let's uh, go. You see papers. This is all musty and moldy. Um, you were expecting, you opened the door and you were expecting the smell of, you know, a, a cafe and wonderfully uh, crisp vellum. And it it erodes to the scent of, like, awful and, like, rotting organs and, you know, oh. rotting books. And it's it's disgusting in here. It's, it's gross. And this is not a place for somebody to read, let alone write a story. Um... There are books on like, I guess like like masonry and like there's some religious texts and like homesteading, uh, but yeah, most of it's worn and, and disgusting. You don't, you don't make a whole lot out. Yeah, they're just gonna, okay, and just hold their nose. Yeah, it's take gross. a note, just take a note down of like what the situation was in like <laughs> under a list of <laughs> use this later. Okay, okay, okay. And they're gonna leave the room. <laughs> scent memory, scent memory. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Can I go ahead and check these chests? Yeah, yeah. Make a make an investigation check. <laughs> loot get. Loot get. Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna go see God in a second, I'm gonna loot up. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go see God before I get there. A five. A five? Okay. Yeah. Um. You look at the chest. Uh. Uh. You you. Do you want to open it? Sure, I'll open it. Fuck it. Okay. Why not? Yeah. And poof, this sickly acrid green cloud uh, it, it exhumes itself from the, the, the chest itself, um, uh. and it uh, fills about ten feet around where uh, where Phoenix is. Um, yep. Ooh. Make a Constitution saving throw. Well, I love those. 
You don't. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, all our shit rolls. Oh, you oh, you no. take nine oh, points of cool. uh, poison damage, and you are poisoned. I'm gonna back up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything good in here? What was that? Uh, it, probably the opposite of that. I'm gonna. <laughs> So that means you have, let me double check and see exactly what Poisoned is. You have uh, disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Cool. Fun. That's going to be cool for the next little bit. So seeing that, I cool. think Sunder can back out of the room. Okay, not, cool. Not even attempt to walk forward. And you guys uh, arrive into this uh, larger, like, atrium. Uh, it, it's full of like machinery that you're not quite sure what it, exactly it does. Again, this 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 building has been used for multiple purposes over like 100, 200 years. So this mm -hmm. could be a forge. This could be some sort of magical device. This could be, it could be literally anything, but what it is right now seems pretty inert. Um, but on the far wall, you do see a pretty large, fairly new like handle that you can grip with your hand and then turn. Uh, and that seems to be the only thing like coming off of the walls besides pipes and tubes and uh, uh, machinery bits and uh, you know you, you got crates and everything littering uh, the the room itself crates and barrels that you know, may have stuff in them but um, that's what you see right now in front of you I want to pull the lever <laughs> I'm gonna be honest that, that's the first thing that popped <laughs> I mean, in my head is that's, I, I that's fine with me I mean you're allowed to do that Alrighty. Um, I guess we'll move into the room. Where did you say it would have been located? Uh, it's on the far wall here. Far wall. Okay. Not Wait, the hold close on. wall. You said your Not guy was wall. in here? Which is you, yeah. <laughs> Zav, yeah. you said your guy was in wall. here? Where's your guy? Um, I don't know. What do you see? The, no, there's no guy in here. It's just this direction, I thought. Guys, there's a lever here. Pull it. The pull it. Pull it, oh, alright, say less. And then he's gonna <laughs> pull the lever. <laughs> oh shit, okay. You grip the level, lever with your hand and <laughs> you manage to turn it as well and then you pull it out. And this, like, this section of the wall that had you know, been, like, added recently, uh, this masonry begins to <laughs> move to the left as a pathway opens and you see a natural cavern that looks like well, not a natural cavern but it looks like this was this was uh, hollowed out um, man made uh, but it looks hastily made um, there are some tools and mining equipment uh, scattered about um, there's even lights which is crazy because you haven't seen any like light lights uh, in this building it looks like there have been a, a lantern has been lit um, and you hear rushing water mm, okay guys there's a there's a mining tunnel over here. Maybe we should. It could very well be the way out. I don't I don't see us really going anywhere else. We I told you this not... this way. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it seems to be this is the the way. Yes. Wait, this is the way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you do you, do you guys enter as a group? Yeah, let's enter. Yeah, let's go. I think it's a Do good it. idea. Dude. I, I love, love when entry. impulsive actions get rewarded. Yeah. You feel a like you feel like a rush of clean air for the first time in like an hour or two <sighs> hits you. You feel you smell a salt spray. Um, the 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 entire energy seems to shift a little bit. But Zep, you are one hundred percent getting closer to this dull uh, image, uh, this like big o ovular glob that you felt when you divine sensed um, and you guys press in uh, and as you turn this corner you go about 15 feet and then turn a corner to the right and uh, let's change I love entering random holes we love it it's actually it's how we got here in the first place secret tunnel secret tunnel secret tunnel secret tunnel and uh, let me hold on I have to go oh, are we on the top or the bottom Oh, he's fucking sick. We're about to crash some cultist behavior. Oh, fuck so yeah, dude. Go. Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. Over here. Everybody tokens. And you see, as you guys go in, uh, none other than Kelly uh, at the far end here. 
Um, and uh, Sunder, you would know, you didn't know that this particular exit to the hollow let out where it did. Again, you've only been here about a month. Um, mm -hmm. But this is one of the many secret entrances to Kelly's Hollow. Um, and as soon as you turn the corner, you realize, oh, you're home. You get this overwhelming whelming, uh, wash of relief. Uh, your bed and all of your uh, you know, accoutrement are over in the corner. Um, and Kelly is uh, hard at work on some papers and vellum that he has kind of put together on this, uh, on this dais up near the front. This place looks to be the source of where you felt that uh, celestial energy. Um, there is an old, let me, let me read the description here. Uh, it is a 300 square foot sanctuary uh, that Kelly and Lester have grown to call home. Uh, this cozy place is ancient. Uh, it looks very, very old, older than the building that you were just in. And uh, it's kind of at a weird angle, like elevation wise. And it looks like it's been shifted in the earth several times uh, and has settled on this position. There's a, there's, you know, the elevation is different um, as you've kind of press into the, the almost cathedral. Um, there are charts and maps and books and all of these, which look fairly new, uh, that are plastered on the walls. Uh, there are several candles that have been lit. Uh, there's a lot of light coming from uh, various sources. Um, there's an alchemical station with like vials and burners. Um, most of you would know that it looks like he's making potions and uh, other ingredients. Uh, there's daggers and an array of weapons over in one corner. Um, and it looks like this has been this has been lived in. This this guy's been living here for for several years, but the big striking feature over behind Kelly is this almost half collapsed statue of a naked woman. And oh my uh, God. it looks almost Good exactly sword. like the naked woman on your sword. Uh, the sword you just found, Wall. Um, this is the, this seems to be the same woman. Um, and it's quite gorgeous. Uh, and her arm is outstretched, pointing straight up. Um, it's kind of at a, like a right angle as, as her finger points quite, uh, toward the, the surface. Do um, I recognize her? Yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. A hundred percent. You know this to be Elastray. Uh, That's her is... name. That's the sister. Fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I screamed that out loud, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Kelly's like, oh. Just shout, Elastray. That's it. Sorry. You, you, okay. guys, you guys found it. Uh, okay. I, Honey, I figured you would. home. It's... It's impossible to get lost in that place. It, it, it would take an idiot to get, to get lost in that place. Um, welcome. This is my hollow. And Lester kind of flies over to um, Sunder and perches on his shoulder and ah! like almost, no, he's not a parrot, but like, you know, he screeches a little bit, ruffles his feathers, and uh, he's, he's, he's glad you're home. Um, mm. Well, um, I guess make yourselves at home. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Um, yeah, what do you guys do? He, 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 he kind of envelops himself in his work for several minutes. I'll, I'll be right with you. You guys are free to look around if you would like to. Huh. Mm -hmm. So this is the house. This is the pad. This is the place. Uh, this is where I stay. This, this is one of the many places I have over the years. Wait, you live here too? Mm-hmm. So you two are like roommates? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the manner of speaking, yes. What well, you're considering, yeah. And they were roommates. <laughs> Writing that. And they were roommates. <laughs> um, Argentum. Uh, something you know immediately when you walk into the the proper like center of it. Uh, is to the left. It's not shown on the battle map, obviously, because I can I can't show everything on a battle map that's not very custom. But, um, to the left. This wall has been blown out and a lot of light is pouring in because it looks like as you walk up towards this uh, like gap, you are looking out onto a breathtaking vista. Uh, unfolding in front of you is the cold northern ocean, bashing its waves in all its untamed glory against the rocks. This really deep green water stretches to the horizon and meets a, a cloudy steel gray sky. Uh, 
the elements are hard at work on this rock, but it looks like that this this thing has been last has lasted a very long time. Um, it is a f- frothy scene of raw natural beauty, and uh, it kind of takes your breath away for a little bit. Um, it's quite gorgeous, and it it looks like Kelly kind of raises his head and looks at you guys as 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 you see the view. Nice view, huh? It's incredible. Did you hmm. do this and little gesture to like it's sort of like an explosion off. hand, like explosion gesture with their hand? No, actually, uh, this place was like this when I found it. It's amazing what you'll find down here. Entire little town, cities, people living here. It's a web of labyrinthine tunnels. <laughs> and I just got lucky. Um, Nice place, all things considered. Do I believe him when he says he got lucky? Insight check. I was like, do I? If you would like to roll an insight check, you may. These little insight goblins are back up. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, nice. That's a two. Oh, that's not a twenty. Never mind. (laughs) No, fans. It's the opposite of a twenty. The the dice like I I got a twenty. Oh, you bitch. Argentum, he is, uh, he's disarmingly charismatic and, uh, he seems genuinely proud of like, you know, it's like a, it's like a homeowner showing you around. It's like, yeah, look what we've managed to secure. Look what we got. You know, this is, this is our little slice of, of, uh, if Branca just right here in this cliffside. Um, Grizz, he's, he's hiding something. Um, it may not necessarily be the like view that he's acquired. But he seems skittish. He is charismatic, to be sure. But like, it seems like he left in a hurry. He's on edge about something, and uh, you don't know what. And now he's not. That divine energy was it coming from the statue, or is it kind of closer? It's to him? you feel it wash over you as you walked into this place. This whole area okay. um, is the is the the source of that energy that you felt. Um, it looks very like... old and very decayed. Mm-hmm. If I can have, like, just kind of gesture to Wall and Sunder to, I guess, side by side me so I can get closer to, uh, to, okay. uh, Kelly yeah, yeah. here slowly. Yeah, yeah. We have the squad roll up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, can I, can I see what this, like, soup is? This soup. Uh, that, that isn't there. Oh, okay. Just pretend <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Okay. There's only yeah. There's only so much that I can do with a battle map, but I want you guys to feel a little immersed. But yeah, all right. That's there's awesome. no soup. That's probably the there's statue soup. or something. <laughs> yeah, I, I would. That, that's the, the there's a there's a there's a small statue there, and then the larger one behind Kelly is the one that's uh, collapsed. Okay, it's, interesting. You know, about it looked like it was 20 feet tall or something like that, but now it stands at about 15, cracked in half, leaning on its side. Hmm. What is it that Place. you do here, Kelly? Down here. I do what the incompetent cops can't do. Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? The whole place is Arkham. And elaborate. No, I... <sighs> Kelly looks at Argentum. Mm. You're here to help solve the murder, aren't you? What makes you think that? You're a mystery writer. I am. I'm also You've been summoned magician. here? Okay. I'm sure that helps in some situations. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do as well. And as a matter of fact, uh, he turns behind him and then gestures to uh, the wall to his left. And on the wall to his left <laughs> is the entirety of what you saw in the undercroft of the storage unit. So you were the one putting all the pieces together. I'm trying. They are there, but I have yet to assemble them into a unit and I was... And he kind of looks like Lester and sighs a little bit. Would you guys be willing to help me? Uh... It depends on really what. I'll be honest, I'm kind of lost. Other than the huge naked lady behind you. 
I mean, I mean, I'm kind of obligated. He's letting me stay here for free. Do you trust these people, Sunder? Do I trust them? I mean, they haven't given me a reason not to so far. And we've been together for the past several hours. They haven't tried killing me, which is good, unlike the guards. That is honestly surprising. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, Guess it's a low bar around here. People die That's around here mean. all the time. While we're on the con... You're not wrong. Tent of l- trust. And I'm going to gesture to the wall to my left. Okay. No. <laughs> I can always tell when someone's not telling the full truth. It's one of my divine senses. Is there anything you want to share before asking for our help? Kelly? He looks at you. Um, and he kind of gives a very short glance to everybody else and says, No. And if you want to work with me, you're going to have to trust me. All right, hold on. Could you at least uh, maybe elaborate on, you know, what you left in such a hurry for? At least you seem pretty calm now. I guess it, it you know, tied it over. I'm gonna look, it's look been around dealt as... with. But you're going to have to trust me. Give a backwards glance, Sargento. They are looking at Kelly with the most intrigue. Like they're Again, trying. You don't have to... to do this. Like, <laughs> oh, they're just trying to put the pieces together. They're gonna make their way over to their sort of case wall, and okay. is there the picture of uh, Sheriff Rochelle on it? Uh, yeah, yeah, there is. Can they make out the word that started with an F that was six letters? Is it on there clearly on this one? Fucker. You approach oh, yeah, fucker. the <laughs> you approach the wall. Um, there is you know string attaching all of these uh, images and names together. Um, everybody is there, and uh, everybody even even you could you can make out things that you weren't able to make out before. And Kelly steps aside and is like, "Please, my guest." And this is impressive. It's it's not me that did this. This is all Baron Edo, piecing okay. everything together himself. Wait, he so knew he was going like to get this? murdered. You found it like this, or you were working with the man? Well, I was eavesdropping on him. He puts his hands up and he says, my bad. But I managed to save things that got destroyed in the process. I have evidence that you guys weren't able to piece together. Now, do you trust me? I wouldn't say I fully trust you, but I am willing to work together. He looks at Sunder and kind of rolls his eyes. Go ahead. See what I got. You go up and uh, you look at yeah, Sheriff Rochelle. Um, this is a much better depiction than what Edo had put down. It, it doesn't, it's not photo real, but it's definitely, there's like, you know, uh, attention to detail into like your know, bone structure. Um, you can tell that this woman is uh, like a desk jockey. Uh, that she, she jockey? was a she was yeah, jockey. Um, she was a beat cop, you know. And uh, it looks like she became a desk jockey. Um, it looks like she is seen a lot of shit, seen a lot of action. But you flip it over, and yeah, the word is one hundred percent there. Bold as day. Uh, there is no. Uh, there's no scratches. There's no smudges. Um, it is it is written in in, in a nice uh, penmanship, and it says "friend?" question mark. So not fucker. <laughs> so <laughs> not fucker. Damn it! The disappointment the, was just damn. so palpable in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're all considering that is honestly impressive. So he believed he could potentially trust the sheriff. That's the thing. And Kelly raises his eyebrows and gets this wild look in his eye and goes over to the conspiracy board and says, you, big guy. Mm. And he shows him the picture of Hart. You seen this? It was back in that little room. It was the uh, uh, 
from my brood. Yes. This is the heart. She is the, was, the executioner here in Ivbranca, and has outwardly expressed disdain towards former policies of execution. She was shelved during Baron Edo's reign. Had no job, couldn't support her kids. She only did one thing well. That's a motive. In this one. Good at killing. It makes sense. <laughs> May, an old ja- an old drow. She doesn't take any nonsense. Very thin. Warmonger. She's been supplying weapons to the old drow and loth radicals for the past six years. There's a motive. Ken. This guy, young drow, blonde, short hair. And he's 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 very he seems to be very into all of this stuff. Um, on the back, look, hedonist. He hosts wildly outlandish parties that set the government budget back exponentially. Money that should be spent cleaning up the slums. That's a motive. Do you see what I'm trying to get? Do you see what I've been trying to build for several years? Several years you have been building this. Yeah, several years, Edo knew he was going to get assassinated. And it's only one of these he. Dudes? I would imagine. There's all motives here. Four people. Four people. One of them is a friend? Question mark. Yeah. Probably not what? sure if he could entirely that, trust or he it. viewed the man's friends. Here, and he ruffles through the papers that are on the desk, and he pulls out one. This. This is a copy of a ledger embezzling department funds and racketeering extortion. That's a motive. A lot of big words. The Baron spent years in his secret underground lair trying to figure out who was going to assassinate him, and that's all? And then it happened. And now you have taken interest because he actually was killed, you believe? What's in it for you? He looks past you guys. There's more in it for me than just that. I'm just going to say that. But whoever did this has harmed me in a way that I can't say in more than a sentence. So you know know all of these uh, PBS, people with motive, you know them personally? No, I don't. I'm on the outskirts. I only go out at night. They did damage to you? They killed my wife. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry to hear that. It's not what you've been, been following this is. trail of bread. It's, it's fine. What connects following your this... wife to the Baron? <sighs> and he I walks think... over this way. I think you owe us a little, oh, at least that much, yeah? You know, As he is expressing all of this stuff, his demeanor has kind of changed, and mm-hmm. he looks a little antsy and honestly quite sad to reveal this information. Um, mm-hmm. He goes over to another wall and uh, pulls back this like blanket that's been kind of draped on on a on a, a wire, um, and you see what looks to be the Everdim family tree. And uh, he goes Everdim, as in Tyrael Everdim. Mm -hmm. Yes, I knew I recognized it. Now, he says, my wife, my wife may have been involved in an affair with somebody on that list. I don't know you well enough to tell you who. But I need you to trust me. All right. Well, you're just gonna say yes? 
Yeah, I was gonna help him anyways, but um, it's what I'm here to do. So. I feel like it's needed at this point. He has information that you all need, and so why not, right? Uh, all right, hold on. I gotta talk to my employer. He, uh, <laughs> Kelly puts his arms on his his table wide. Um, he kind of leans over it. He looks a little nauseous. Um, Lester flies from Sunder's shoulder over to the desk, and uh, you hear him say, Thanks, bud. What do you guys do? Wall already trusted you. Second that you started helping us, Wall trusted. So, you have my trust. That's a dangerous and chaotic mindset, Wall. <laughs> I love yes. it. I mean, it's the same mindset I had. He was kind enough to give me a place to stay, so I've trusted him for the last month. He looks at you and smiles wide. <laughs> he took me in when I was... I had nowhere to go. Running around on the streets by myself. No money, no food. Nowhere to call my own. Mm. And he came by. I trust him with my life. And if, Thanks, kid. Anytime. There's anything that I can say about Kelly. He's trustworthy. So well, you're vouching for him. It'd be more interesting if you ended up not trustworthy. But as I said in my speech, people have uh, biases against the reformed Church of Loth, and I have a f had a feeling that the Baron was murdered as well. And honestly, part of my objective here was to prove that we had nothing to do with it. Oh, that is something you said in, like, kind of a bad way to the public, but... What if I told you I can help you prove that to the populace at large? What if I told you I could give you every beat, bit, bit of information that you needed? Huh. I am listening. And you, Argentum, I will take zero credit for this. I need justice. And you need a story. I do. Zinga. <laughs> Is that a local term? Uh, it comes from a different uh, place, far, far, far away. Interesting. Weird. I never heard a phoenix come out of a person's mouth. <laughs> yeah. I was just like you when I was younger. I. I can relate to your apprehension. And if you want to walk out that door, you know how to get out of here. It'll take you a while, but you can leave. I don't know all if of you're you. just like me, I'll be honest, but uh, maybe give me a minute or two. I'm gonna just like step out of the area. Okay. And I'm gonna do that thing. Do that thing. When I'm away from everyone's, yeah. Just gonna turn the corner, you know? Okay, cool. He seemed in a hurry. Yeah. Kelly looks at the rest of you. Well, with your guys' help, you're gonna get these motherfuckers. And I think that's what we're gonna call tonight. What? Let's go! Sweet. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh good. my god. Hi. Holy oh, shit. Oh, that's so good. Hell yeah. Oh, Whoa. okay. Wow. Yeah, that was fun. Agreed. Yeah, great that was awesome. Sash, great sash. Thank you, Alpha. You're very welcome, guys. I, uh, I, I, I'm glad you guys had fun. That's fantastic. That's poggers. Dude, you cut it off. I was getting so much more into it here. I, yeah, I was, oh, I was, I was no, really, really into it. Too weak. Too I'm weak. sorry. I mean, we can... <laughs> We can keep going for a little bit if you guys want to. We've only done three hours, but uh, I feel like I'm going to tap out at like maybe 30 more minutes. There is some I more content. I never disgrace or disrespect the DM session in. Yeah, I okay. agree. Exactly. All right. All right. We're all right. The game is over. It. Yeah, we it, was it. it was a good place to leave it. It was a good place. Get it. Yeah. Very good place. Okay. Well, good. Um, I'm glad you finally uh, got to meet one of the more core NPCs uh, to the... Kelly. 
Kelly. Um, there's a lot more about him that you don't know, but Sunder probably does. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah. I would imagine you guys have like, I don't know, some arrest or something like that. You just vibe. Yeah, dude. Uh, for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Oh, this is going to be so sad. <laughs> two weeks. It's okay. Oh, I believe. I believe in your ability to wait two weeks. I People we I have a con. Ben's gonna be out of town. It's fine. I've waited months be between waiting. sessions. You'll be fine. I... <laughs> Unfortunately, you know we got some big shots in this. Uh, you know this table, so they will be away next week. Big pop we'll boys. Really? We will be back in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Um, two weeks. I. I am so happy you guys had fun. I appreciate every single uh, one of your time and uh, thank you so much for spending the time with me and uh, creating the story together. Um, we're gonna, it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to start session three, but that was an end to session two. Um, Pog. I think we can like roll the credits, but um, we'll do my sign off guys. Uh, be excellent to everyone you meet because everyone's fighting a hard battle and sometimes you can't see it. Um, take care of yourselves uh, and let's say good night, everybody. 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 Good night. Jan, 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 Jan.